great. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Dungeons and Decibels. Oh. oh. Surprise. <laughs> what? <laughs> Surprise. Guys. We're doing it live. Surprise. We're doing it live. We're here. Uh, so thank live. you for joining us. Uh, this episode is brought to you by, in part by the yeah. Deck of Many. Uh, they are a super awesome company who gave us some awesome cards from conditions to monsters to a bunch of other stuff. They are awesome. We met them at PAX. Check them out. They just finished their Kickstarter. They are super cool. Uh, anything else anybody wants to plug? Because we totally have plugs. No. Great. Wait! No. Oh, damn, no, I don't have any, like, actual Nothing. plugs to plug in right now. So, no. I don't have here's a plug. Yeah, there you go. Do you have your phone? Plug it in. There's I the have plug. these. <laughs> They're not plugs, but they screw in. It's, it's they they change it from big bulb to little Keep bulb. Keep going. They haven't started <laughs> fire yet. Tell me more. Um, I don't know if they would start a fire, but they haven't yet. That's all you can really ask for. So, without further ado, unless anybody wants, to say, anybody wants to say hi or anything they want to talk about, any anything? No hi. Um, no. I want to get into it. Great. <laughs> so that means you can tell us what happened last time. Oh! Yay! Do I have to tell... Am, am, should I tell everything, or are we going to, like, pass it around? It is up to you. You can popcorn if you'd like. Of course I will, because that's the most awkward, not awkward, horrible thing in class and schools from back in the day. All right, so last time, well, we all woke up, and um, the trees were orange and pink, and the sky was purple, and we had no idea what the fuck was going on. And we were all awake, except we couldn't find Maelstrom anywhere. So we're looking around, we're like, what the fuck? And basically the, the the little island that we were on was like it's like a fire tree thing. I don't know. We were in the sky, maybe. It was super fucking high. But then we went down this rope after watching Park Salsa Mushroom Man, little mushroom guy, go down it and and it actually wasn't that far of a jump. And then when we got down there, Christy, what happened? When we got down there, I was just laughing because you were like, we were really high. And I was like, yeah, we were super fucking high. And we saw a mushroom, bro. And then we saw a mushroom man. And he like let us down some shit. Mushroom man. <laughs> anyway, um, are we skipping to the part where like we all climbed down, right? Yeah, we, we, we all climbed like, down. Dark in the face. Whoops. <laughs> um then we figured out that there were like three wooden boats and then we had to do magic tricks and figure out how it moved and then eventually i like leaned forward and i was like huh and then it moved forward and so we figured out if you pointed the direction you wanted to go it would do it so we did that and we had a race and the girls won i'm just saying um <laughs> anyway, so we did that. Maelstrom was still missing during that time. And then once we got on shore and the boats landed, we looked and we saw that they were actually like these dragony things. Um so that was fun. They were actually worms. And then they flew away. And then we looked off into the distance and we saw this really ethereal looking like white based wall. Um, popcorn. <laughs> Who looks like they're not paying attention for anyone? Wow, that's rude. <laughs> that's what teachers uh, do. So we looked at it and then we heard pages turning and popcorn Jake. <laughs> <laughs> so then we found a guy in a hood and we were walking with that guy and he wouldn't tell us her name because brendo ruined that and yeah that's true we made it to a town that also didn't have a name because apparently wherever we were nothing had names we had some tea it got real cold and now murder is going to tell us what's going on um i know not to give your name to anyone 
they were scampering books, like Jake said. Uh, Amalera thought we were in the Feywild. Uh, there's a guy named Both, who was, you know, he was there. Um, seemed a lot like Maelstrom, but maybe not. He had Maelstrom's mask, but not mask. It was a, it was a head and a staff. He had the staff, but it wasn't a staff. It was a staff. It was a diff different staff. We had a uh, satyr friends. He had four satyr friends with four hats. There was a trifold, three corner, a Robin Hood, a bowler, and a, a crown. In Battle tiara. Proud of you. And there was a forest yeah. spirit named Barry, who was my best friend. Uh, <laughs> I was reading a book uh, for <laughs> Casey. <laughs> oh, I didn't anticipate this oh. outcome. And I show my Isn't that what the life of a DM is? <laughs> Not anticipating that outcome. Actually, I have nice little drawings that Ashlyn would have done. Mm. And she, and I can show you guys what happened after uh, some bad stuff. This is... That was what Ashlyn did. <laughs> right there. That's very Smashing cute. the fairies. <laughs> Um, and then they went outside because they heard nothing as suddenly it was snowing in this eerie, strange, summary ask, 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 summary ask place. I like and, that. <laughs> and <laughs> so suddenly there was like hundreds of little tiny little creatures that seemed, seemed to crawl out of the forest towards them and they did battle and they fought off pretty well up until suddenly the tree the, this weird looking tree in the center of the town that they found themselves in seemed to come to life and attack the party um including oh, this everything. this person that they seem to found an acquaintance with named both thusly named both both um both. after some scary hits and all four satyrs being wiped out within a turn and just countless and more and more enemies spouting from the forest both instructed the party, Crushed and Votum, to leave immediately and flee. And after some hesitation, the party decided it was their best option as they ran deep into the woods, running further and further as fast as their feet could take them into this un mysterious and unknown world that is definitely not the Feywild. <laughs> um, until it just so happened that most of them tripped, some of them turned back to gather their friends, gather friends, and, uh, fall themselves, knocking them all back into consciousness. And as they awoke, they were greeted with the sight of Maelstrom sitting before them as he usually does, staying awake throughout the night, flipping pages. Flipping pages. And then Christy disappeared. Oh, Mirror's gone! Fuck! Fuck. Morning, everyone. Oh, oh, hi, Maelstrom. Oh, good morning. Guys, I found Maelstrom. Meltis. Do we, like, actually remember what happened? Well, roll a history check. Roll a dream check, sucker. Do we all have to roll or just her? Are we all? I rolled. I got I'm gonna roll. My new sheet to come to me, and then I can tell you what I got. I shouldn't change that number. I got an eight. Uh, got an eight. 13. Oh, oh, but I have a plus six. I have a thirteen plus six, which is nineteen. I got eight. Got eighteen minus one, so that's seventeen. Okay. Uh, let me send this link real quick. What? To Amanda, she was asking for something. I remember Typical. Okay, um, you remember, you remember that you just had a dream, and in your dream there were your friends, and some things happened, and things seem a little hazy. But every time that you try to kind of run your your mind through it once more, it just gets a little fuzzier and fuzzier. But you distinctly had a dream. Did I distinctly have a dream with an eight? Uh, with an eight? I mean, I, it wasn't really a necessary, 100% necessary roll, but maybe yours is a little bit more fuzzy than others. Maybe some some 
uh, finer details of things that you ran into are just a little misconstrued to you. That's Ludo narrative harmony. Uh, <laughs> I had because I don't remember anything. <laughs> it wasn't necessarily like a, a a huge stringent DC that I was setting. It was just more of a chance for me to describe to you how you're feeling. I kind of wanted to fail to be honest. <laughs> I'm going harmony. to I'm I'm going to go over and I'm going to piss piss pinch Ashlyn. Piss. Piss. I'm gonna piss now. Piss please on don't. Ashlyn. Don't do that. No. Piss check. No, don't <laughs> want the peas on Ashlyn. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna slightly pinch her. What the fuck are you doing? I'm gonna reach out and pinch her. Punch her or pinch her? Piss her. <laughs> piss her. I'm gonna pinch her back. Okay, roll a pinch check. <laughs> With this I'm just kidding. Don't roll the fifteen. You pinch her. Really hard. She's bleeding profusely. <laughs> Fair bit. Uh, now you know how I feel. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to check something. That's all. Why? What's wrong? Did you have a weird dream? I did. Uh. Uh. I, I, yes, uh, I, uh, don't know. Do you, do you want to talk about it, or, I mean, you seem really concerned. It was nothing. And I leave her alone. And I walk away. No, I left her alone. I stopped bugging her. I stopped pissing on her, you know? That was weird. <laughs> hmm. Um, do I see Corvus up in the tree where I ask him to look out? Uh, you do still, still see still Corvus going? hanging out there. I'm gonna instruct him to fly circles and look for mushroom people. Okay. Make sure nobody's mushroom people messing with us. Roll a perception yeah. check for Corvus. Got it. Uh, 15. Nope, 16. Okay, Corvus spends a good 10 minutes or so patrolling the area looking for anything, and if he sees anything, he'll be sure to let you know. How? Go ahead. Go ahead. No, you go. No, you go. I'm fine. What okay. if you just go? Please. Uh, Throw a rock at Nala. <laughs> Ow! Oh. Where'd you this find is a nat 20. You hit her in the head, she bleeds to death. <laughs> well, you can finally make that new character you wanted, Josie. Rip. From, uh, from my hazy dream, how do I physically feel on uh, this you, awful You feel rested. Morning? You may be a little weary from, like, this very vivid dream that you had. But, um... You, you feel rested enough to have had a long rest? Cough, cough. Thank you. Oh. What are you talking about, dreams, Nola? It's nothing. Are you sure? Because I, I can't... I can't help shake the feeling that something... Like, there's Maelstrom. Is that is that remarkable to you? That Maelstrom's right there? Is that... Because it is to me. He's... I mean, it's... It's typical, but... If, if... We were looking for him, right? And there he is. Is that... Noteworthy? That's a very good uh question. Uh, Maelstrom, whom I found first this morning, by the way. Just pointing that out. <laughs> um... Did you do anything to those cupcakes that we were eating? Those pastries, oh, they were delicious. Cupcakes. But um, I had some very strange dreams last night. All right, so it wasn't just me. Um, <clears throat> I didn't do anything to the cupcakes. And this wouldn't be the first time you all had strange dreams. When we stayed at Fort Rocks, you all woke up in a 
cold sweat. Don't tell Insane me 42 the gifted more subs. My Sorry. Sweat. Um, you're right. Strange dreams have happened before, but in this one you were missing, which is why I was very excited to have found you. <laughs> By the way, does anybody know how much further it is to the next town? Uh, Roughly. it's approximately insane being a total boss, a clock. Oh my god, a game one oh. season. Jeez, <laughs> insane. Subscribe and ever. Thank you again for the support. Yeah, seriously. Fucking awesome. Can we get some hype emotes in chat, please? If I could. For insane. <laughs> get in there. Gotta get in there. Wow. Done! Dunion ring. Nailed it. Oh my god, I can't handle this. Oh my god. Oh, and <laughs> oh DM Dorkside, thank Dorkside. you for subbing. No. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, Thanks, Tom. Thomas? Is it Tom or Thomas? I never actually asked you. Rest in peace. It's DM Dorkside, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Shit. Uh, you only go by Twitch names here. <laughs> True. Oh, he, uh, uh, DNSA42 gifted uh, to BLMX, too. That's awesome. Thanks, guys. Hey, BLMX, you made it just in time. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Thanks, Mom. No Tom and Dad. 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 No Mom Tom. and Dad. Okay. <laughs> it's, it, it's Mr. Pickleson, Dorkside. What about Thom? Thomas? Thomas oh, Turgy? Gosh. Okay. Oh. Okay, uh -huh. anyway, story derailment. Yeah. So, how far to the next town? I mean... Who has the map? Is there a map? Do we even have a map? I believe uh, Mama has a map. She's Said the leader. omniscient god. Oh, right, voice. Thank you. Nala, where are yes. we on the map? <laughs> Thanks uh, for the Well, I could still see when I had Toto go up there, I could still see the tower. Um, and then also Brago's towers. So I'm pretty sure we still have quite a ways to go. Um, I don't... I don't have much information in regards to uh, the cities and what else we might uh, come across here. <clears throat> so I'm not really sure, to be honest with you. Okay, so are we on the right track? Two things. One, I need a perception check from everybody. And two, <laughs> Nala, you would know that it's probably another three, three to five days travel from here to okay. maybe like the closest-ish notable town. 16. 19. One. Oh. Uh, oh, you said perception. Oh. So 15 plus 1 is 16. Um, Five for me, and Corvus was 16? a 16, remember? Since it has a 1 in it. <laughs> uh, Maelstrom, uh, what did you roll? I didn't see it on the thing. If you rolled, did you roll? Well, actually... Hot 7. Hot 7. That was loud. Hark, uh, I, I would guess... Probably three to five days until the next area where town people possibly. Okay. Uh, we should probably, you know, pick up camp and get going then, right? Uh, Ashley. Yeah. Uh, Ashley? Ashley. 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 Wow. From the corner of your eye, you see a small canine like figure dart behind the tree from where you guys are like if you guys are on like the big you know the, you guys are on this big island what this island like thing with a huge tree can you hear me what's that i can't hear you she got a one i know you see a small canine like uh figure almost like seemed to like zap around the back at the back of the tree what the fuck was that? Did you see that? She what? The dog thing! There was a dog, it went that way! I'm gonna go after it. Okay. 
Oh, shit. I'll follow her. And not as like shit. I'm not. Yeah, fucking. I'm gonna storm after it. I'm confused. I'm disgruntled from this dream. Here we go. Um, Alara, how quickly are you following? Um, I don't know. You mean like footage wise? Well, like Ashlyn said, did you see that? And then she ran after this. Are you following her like at a, like running after? Or are you like a pretty oh, yeah, a pretty brisk pace, like. Obviously, if she saw some shit and she's like okay. high or some uh, shit. Ashlyn, you round the corner of this tree and on the, on one of the um, upper branches, not really branch, it's one of the trunks. Like It, it kind of like goes up and then comes back down and then goes into the water. Uh, sitting on the very uh, top crest of this trunk, I can't remember words today, uh, you see a small dog bright in color with almost green hint like green almost like shapes on it uh hold on one second let me get a picture for you uh where's my thing hold on go just amanda Whispers, guys. Whispers. Whispers. Whispers for a net one, so it's not good. How do you know? <laughs> see the face she's making, though. Oh, she needs. <laughs> Can't see without my glasses. Oh, Velma. You want fight? So read. I guess most of you do have to wear glasses. Thank yeah, you. What the hell? Oh, you do too, Jake. Like all the time when I see you in person. Oh yeah, that's right. You see a, <laughs> all, all a, but... a small white furred dog with green, almost like <clears throat> highlights within its fur, just for a split second as it sits there, looks at you, turns its head on. You could swear it smiles just as it zaps out of existence as now as Amlira walks around the corner and like follows you. Uh, did you find it? I did, and then it disappeared. It was. Fucking weird. Did you see it? No. How did you miss it? It was weird. It had white fur and these little green shapes on it. They almost looked like lines and dots. Like, but it wasn't it, real. I'm gonna. I'm pointing to where it just was there. I'm like, it's, it was right there, and then looked at me, and it disappeared. I think you need more sleep. I don't need more sleep. There was something there. I. I there is nothing there. Ashlyn, <laughs> yes, there's I'm nothing it out. right there. I'm walking past some Lyra to where the dog was now because I want to see how it disappeared. Uh, check. <laughs> uh, give me, give me a check. Check. I need a investigation check. Four, 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 dog, dog, four. From who? Her? Or me? Uh, I believe Ashlyn said she was it's checking it her. out. It's a 17 minus 1. <laughs> 16. Okay. Um, as you walk over to where you saw this small canine disappear, you can swear you smell like a hint of like almost... There's a word. It was in my head two minutes ago. Uh... The smell of like lightning in the air after it disappears, like it's it's like a ozone. 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 That's the word. Ozone in the air. And right where it was sitting, you find one individual piece of fur. Poop emoji. <laughs> did you just did you just dab? No, I got out of frame, but it kind of looked like that. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Mm -hmm. What color is the fur? Is it white or green? Uh, looks to be white. See? I'm Lyra! Look! And I pick up the fur, and I, like, rush back over to her with the one fur, and shove it in her face. But that could have been from anything. I'm telling Literally you. Literally anything. I saw something, and this- it was this color. 
okay, well, what, whatever you say. And then I look up, like, the tree and probably see nothing. Sorry, so. uh, stream. I am have to I have to quiet some stuff. Go back. Okay, we're back. Go ahead. Proceed as usual. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, um... I'm just gonna, like, look up the tree and I assume I see nothing. Right? Roll a perception check. Okay. When I see her look up, can I, like... 16 plus 7. You can assist her in looking, I'm, if you like. I'm helping you look. 16 plus 7. <laughs> uh, Ashlyn's helping you look if you want to look. Roll again for advantage. Peeling your eyes open. Nope, 16 plus 7 is fine. The, last, the next one was a 13. Okay. Um, Just as you're looking up and kind of peering around, Ashlyn points, and you can just see... The same thing that she just saw as a dog leaps from a high, very high tree branch into the air and just vanishes. You saw oh, it, right? What the fuck? Didn't get a, you didn't get a very good look at it, but you did see something jump from a tree branch into nothing. Okay, but you, you said it disappeared before. Like, did it disappear up the tree or just like I did not see it existed? All I saw was it wasn't there anymore, and it smelled like, I don't know, kind of like a zap or a, a light one. It smelled funky. It was, it was different over there. And then there was- Like the magic? Spark. Like- I don't know what that smells like. Well, not really magic, but like, you know, these little magic uh, fools that are in our party, they always like- Zap things in and out of existence. You know who we should talk to? Oh. Maelstrom. Over. Because he always does that shit. Please check Facebook when you get a chance, friends. Oh. Oh. So, I think we should... Well, maybe. Hold on. Do you um, want to stay here and watch it, or do you want me to stay here and watch it, and you go get Maelstrom? Because he probably doesn't want to talk to me, because uh, it's not my fault he almost died. Just saying. I thought you made up with me. I tried. I don't think he cared. Maybe you should go talk to him, you know, to, to reestablish a friendship. I, uh, do I have to? Roll a have to check. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'll go ask him if you want. I got an eight, Casey. Do I have to? Yes. No, you don't have to. God damn it. <laughs> Where'd Delric go? Okay, I'm gonna stare at the. Um. Oh wait, no. We have a we have Rocky talkies. Oh yeah, that's a good point. We have Rocky talkies. Okay. Well. I'm gonna touch the rocky talkie and I'm gonna say, Psst. guys, guys, yes. So, I think somebody's doing some magicy things around us. But I'm not I found sure. a dog. Ashlyn found a dog, but it's not a real dog. It's an illusion. You think? I think. It's an illusion? I, don't, I mean, maybe. He had, he was white and he had green shapes on him. We got okay, the but he disappeared. Might be further up the tree. Can I look I'm... up as she's talking to them and see if he's gone any further? Are okay. one of you well, guys doing trip. things? I mean, it's... Mm -hmm. I don't quite understand what's the concern for... It. It's an animal, so... Okay, well, what if it had something to do with dreams? Seven plus four, so eleven. Okay, you I'll go don't over to see them. any other signs of this dog-like creature that you had seen before. I come over from uh, the other side. All right. What is it that you're 
looking at? Uh, he disappeared, but there's a dog up going up the tree, and he's he's there in one spot, and then there's a, a smell, and then he's there in another spot. He's kind of hoofing up the tree. I sent Toad up to the tree to go take a look. Okay, you send Toad up, roll a perception check for Toad, and Hark. Corvus is also oh. scouting about. Did happen to plus. see Wait. this dog? I get advantage on perception checks, so that one was a nine plus three, which is twelve. Let's see, this one's better. That's a three plus three, so it's six. So twelve okay. <laughs> would you be the higher. Also, send Toad up to circle around this tree, just as Corvus is, and you get they, the two owls kind of match their flight speed as they're spinning around this tree. And neither of them seem to notice this mysterious dog that everyone's talking about. You guys are in very rare form this morning. I suppose we're cleaning up camp and moving on. That's what I'm doing, because I wasn't invited via imaginary Rocky Talkie. Just gonna put Hark, out would the you fire like an invitation and... to clean up the camp? Yes. Well... Ashton, I don't see anything up there. Uh, whatever it was, it's gone. Um, I don't necessarily know if it... I don't think an animal caused your dreams. Uh, Nala, roll a history check. <laughs> history away! That's a one. Natural one plus six, so seven! Beautiful! Great. you never heard of this dog in your life. I mean, I think that uh, it would just be best to pack up and move along. If it's following us, then I'm sure we'll see it later, and we can confront it then, but I don't think there's anything we need to worry about. I guess so. <laughs> what? I actually didn't hear what you said. <laughs> Shit! What? 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 <laughs> what? What did you say? Is, is there interference here? What is what's happening? Ashlyn. I go help clean up, clean up camp. Fucker. Great. So you all spend the morning cleaning up camp. And then you pack up camp. And I assume make your way back across this small patch of water using your ice boat method and the other boats available to you. Or jump across the rocks again. And you make your way back to the land. Wait, did you say other boats available to us? No, there was that was in the ice boat. dream. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I, I just wanted to make sure that there wasn't suddenly boats now, like, okay, Spook. somebody is here. <laughs> Spooky. See? Spooky. Hmm. So onward? So onward. I would say. Sure. Nala, you're the leader. Point us in the right direction. I point left. <laughs> no. I don't be leader. Pull out my map, and I guess I, I'll, I'll lead the way. Okay. But I'm not a loser. Loser or leader? Leader. Okay. Loser, loser of water. All right, no. leader. Roll a survival check. Hey, okay, I have proficiency in survival, so. Ooh, there's a 15 plus 4, 19. Okay. You kind of take a while to look at your map and see where the sun is and check out which, which way you should head. Um, and you guys begin to trek onwards in a northeasternish direction. Or sorry, northwesternish direction. Right, how okay. fast are you guys going? Safe, but not slow. Okay. It's yeah. my nice steady pace, I would say. Who is going to check their surroundings as they're as they're trekking? Who's in charge of that? 
I am looking behind. I'm looking for that dog guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, roll a perception check to both of you. Another eleven. Me too, right? <laughs> uh yes. Ten plus seven. Seventeen. Seventeen. Great. Do I see a thing? <laughs> uh I will say that for the next four hours you guys trek along unhindered. Is there anything you guys like to do in the meantime? Yawn mm. profusely. I want to look for bugs. <laughs> look for what? Bugs. Spiders. They roll an investigation check. Sweet. I'm so good at bugs. God, he's so weird. If I wasn't there. If I wasn't busy looking for mysterious dogs, I'd be staring at you for catching spiders. Twelve. With a twelve, uh, you over four hours you find two spiders, it, well, up underneath yeah. some rocks off the side of the uh, path that you guys have taken, which eventually strays more of a northward direction as you guys find a main road. Like this, this, this path seems to be not paved or anything but it's well traveled it m much more so than just walking through the forest Ooh, oh gosh uh nelly you would know that this would probably lead you closest straight north to like what looks like the nearest town all right during one of the times that uh maelstrom's out Fucking with the spiders. Can I go approach him? Of course you can. You walk up to the side and you see Maelstrom basically setting up a trap for a spider as he's like peering, pulling up a rock with a jar on the other, like a little further away to basically scare a spider into walking into the jar. And just as it runs in the other direction from the jar, the mage hand that I cast swats it right into the jar from the other direction. Perfect. <laughs> Maelstrom. What that? Yes. Uh, question for you. Uh, I don't know all the things that you can do. Uh, but do you have any powers that mess with people's dreams? I don't. I wanted to be upset. I'm just curious. I mean, no. I definitely have some fun tricks that I can play, but I'm far, far away from powerful enough to do something like that. Would you have any idea why we all would have had a similar Dream? I mean, as you made mentioned earlier, both times, like when we were in the other fort, we all woke up from a strange dream of sorts. And you've always been awake, so I guess that's why I'm bringing this up to you, and why well, I was curious. I suppose I understand your concern, but I did not choose to forgo sleep in order to circumvent some kind of strange dream. I chose to forgo sleep within my power in order to try and keep myself from being stabbed in the back by the many people that are chasing us. I fear what's happening in the world that we live in, not a fear of dreams. So unfortunately, I don't believe I have insight in what ails you currently as a group.
All right. I suppose I can keep an eye out for any kind of literature that may uh, give us an idea, but within my personal magic experience and the ability that gives me uh, the energy to keep awake, it, it, it's not connected, and I wish I could be of more help. One more question. No, I will not go Do on a date with you. Whoa. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm sorry. LOL. Well, what was I'll your question? <laughs> yes. <sighs> sorry. Uh, so, have you ever been to the Feywild? DM, have I ever been to the Feywild? <laughs> Zach, has Mailson ever been to the Feywild? The answer would be no. Nala, has Maelstrom ever been to the Feywild? Are you inside checking him? I, I mean, what does he tell me? I'm going to go with no. Then yes, I'm inciting check. I'm inciting checking him. <laughs> okay, Maelstrom, go ahead and roll the proper check. Nala, roll inside check. I brought out a dice just for such an occasion. So fancy. I, got a, I, got a I will 19. message you my result. Great. I got a 19 plus Either one. persuasion or deception. I got a 19 plus one, so 20 not natural. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, you seem to believe him that he has never been to the Feywild. All right. I'll leave you to it then, whatever you're uh, doing. Catching spiders. There's not much more to it than that. That question I can answer. Spiders. I go back to uh, the rest of the group. Continue onward. Okay. <laughs> Continue onward. Hmm. Great. After all of this week of turmoil and questioning everything, what a wonderful turnout for... Uh, I guess nothing happened. <laughs> this one. Listen... I'll have a conversation if you want. No, it's okay. <clears throat> no, it's fine. Do I hear her murmur this? To whom? <laughs> right. She's like, wait, what? What is she? Are you talking the same voice in my head? <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> actually. Actually, that would actually be... Yeah, okay. I'll play. It's fine. You don't have to. You want to play? What? Omlira, are you all right? I, I hear you murmuring a variety of things over the the stones. Are you? Is everything okay? <laughs> I saw you run off with Ashlyn earlier, and that's risky. Why? Uh, you know that whole rock monster thing that she does sometimes. Yeah, but I'm faster. That's true. I've never seen her run as her rock monster though. So I can show you if you want. Do it. Next time, we have to chase something, maybe. Do I it! Next time we see the dog. Dog? Oh, right. That, yeah, um, yeah, we saw a dog. We saw I don't dog. know what I believe. There's, uh... Honestly, the last... I don't even know if it's been a full day. has been... Vibrant. And... Like, all literally of, vibrant? All of the above. What'd you say? Okay. A little. So it's not just me. I, I had some pretty colorful dreams, too. 
Oh, really? So, what happened in your colorful dream? Is that to me or her? Either one know. of you. You guys don't have like, to force this conversation. All three of us it's are totally talking. Fun. No, I get to harass a little bit. No, so. like, I want to, but I never know when to insert these kinds of conversations. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Whenever it's all right, like... Omlira. We can just, we can have an open conversation. It's, you don't have to be so sheepish about it. I don't know. Like, Nala's always like, I'm not your friend. Isn't that frustrating? So... She does do that. I never know what to talk to her lofty dragon face about. <laughs> She is tall, especially given Lofty. your stature. Yikes. <laughs> but I'm just saying, I never know if I should talk to her or not, because she's always like, I'm not your friend. So... And then really she goes over and pesters Maelstrom while he's just trying to, you know, exercise his, his hobbies or whatever he's doing. Are you guys having this hobby? Is he doing the spider thing again? I yeah, so. That's, he was doing that before when we got the kill pass. It's a little weird. Maybe he just likes spiders. Also, okay. maybe he, maybe I mean, yeah, but maybe he's got something. Did you see when we were fighting the thing with the bleh? What thing with the bleh? What? Uh, maelstrom with the bleh. The thing with the with the bleh. Where? Uh -huh. I remember. In the she remembers. mines? Yeah. Then he do some kind of spider attack with his mouth and all it these was... little bugs come out of the Oh mouth. god, yeah. It was, that was dark, nasty. but that was, that was very cool, actually. I... Uh, cool? It's disgusting. I... Maybe if oh. you're from far well, away and you're yeah. looking at it. Bugs are very full of protein, so <laughs> like, it can be pretty healthy, I suppose. <laughs> Oh, hi, Hark. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe oh, he's hi. collecting them for... Maelstrom! I did not do it. I did not. <laughs> oh, hi, Hark. <laughs> Thank uh, you. <laughs> oh, my God. Do, are you, do you eat the spiders? Maelstrom? Sometimes. Okay. So Hark is right. All right, I guess we're good. Like, why do you that makes sense now. Hark is right. Protein. You got. Honestly, I think next trading post we get to, I might grab myself a, a jar or two, and grab a spider myself. Oh, there that's cute. Be, it's just it's full of benefits. There's, it's a nice. It seems to be a nice cathartic hobby could be healthy for the protein I'm gonna make a note to buy a jar that's cute you guys can like go hunting together fantastic funny. Hi. Because... <laughs> because it is because it okay is. but so it's just interesting to me because there is a dude in my dream who had jars of spiders, but they were like dead. He didn't eat them. They were just dead. That's, I don't know. That sounds significantly more normal. I mean, I guess. <laughs> did, you, did you get his name? No. So. Apparently, in this place, names were, like, a commodity, so nobody, like, everyone's like, I don't really have a name, except, you know, some of the people from our party wanted to tell them their name, so they yeah, did, and then... Yeah, told them their name. Not me, because I'm smart, sometimes. Um, I, I wasn't I really given options. Anyway, so the dude... Gilric asked him what his name was, and he didn't say anything, really, of importance, other than, you know, Gilric was like, oh, tell us both your names. And he's like, yeah, both sounds good. So 
we just named them both and we just moved on with our life and we were okay with that which was really weird i don't know and then we like went to this place and drank tea at his house and all i wanted to do was drink tea and then it started snowing and then like everyone wanted to go outside to see Taylor, what was happening with the snow like at this point like yeah. okay. i just like it was snowing everyone wanted to go outside i just wanted to drink my tea and be warm and enjoy the finer parts of this place we were in gilbert remembers snow it was weird or rain instead <laughs> I remember sure it wasn't the raining? same dream. I think. <laughs> yeah, I had that dream, dream too. I thought Wait, it what? Rain. rain? No. 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 Snow. Precipitation, for sure. Snow. Frozen. Yeah, Frozen snow. Moment. I know what snow is. I... But that's yeah, what was in the, the dream. Details are foggy, I know. But it's, it's quite, so... quite the tale that you guys have woven together. It sounds far more weird than collecting spiders, but I'm enjoying it. It's definitely passing the trip. Yeah, are you guys walking while you're talking like this, or are you standing yes. yeah. watching, yeah. watching yeah. Maelstrom yeah. with spiders? <laughs> I figured he has come over at this point. We're walking talking and them. talking. Yeah, I was walking and talking. If... Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's fine. Um, Big if true. Well, and obviously yeah. I'm in the front leading, because I'm the leader. Well then. She, said, front... she finally said it. <laughs> she said it before. She's not our friend. Yeah. <laughs> She's our leader. Oh, She's friend. just leading us. Okay. Leader, lead. We um, clearly need help. Okay. I don't know if she's experiencing the same things we are. I never said it that. <laughs> anyway, so then everyone went outside and it was snowing and then <sighs> a bunch of like pixies and nonsense. I feel like it was stuff from the Feywilds, but anyway. All this nonsense was happening with like magic and snow and crap and then the dude we were with both had these like little satyr guys and they had these little hats they had the hats yeah yeah there was hold on i think i remember there was um find him the recap part two there was the crown one of them had the crown battle tiara a, ba it's a battle oh, yeah. tiara. Battle okay, whatever. Okay, I don't know. We it's have one of those. Responsy. Do we? We do have one. Wait. We do have one of those. Okay, now it Who feels has weird. It? I Who guess. Is it in the bag of holding? Probably in the bag of holding. The tiara. The tiara! Is in the bag of holding for right now since we uh, didn't really establish who wanted it or who was going to have it. Someone pull it out. I pull the tiara out of the bag of holding. Okay, you pull the tiara out of the bag of holding. Does it look like the tiara that the satyr was wearing? Boom, 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 boom. This is time for hype emotes now. Uh, it looks familiar. It could be, it couldn't be. I mean, there's... It's kind of simplistic, to be honest. It's a lot of rain. Hard to see <laughs> Thank all you, the ladies. rain. There's no rain. Okay, well, who's good at, like, inspecting magical things? Or not magical things, I guess. Nala is a real, oh, wait, the grumpiest dragon in the world. <laughs> not grumpy. I... Just have shit on my mind, so right? Like the stream. I thought you said the stream. I'm like, <laughs> what? Super meta. <laughs> Yeah, just said the stream. Just the stream oh. on my mind. Fourth wall? What? Well, I'm no 
magician professor, but I don't. Is it possible to ha all have the same dream? That seems a little weird to me. I mean, again, you all know your magic shit, but I I've never heard of that. Magic shit's overrated sometimes. It's fine. I mean, it's pretty cool, actually. Well, can you, with your magic shit, can can you make us have the same dream? I I just don't know. It seems really weird. It's not something that I can do. Is it something you've ever heard of being done, Nala? Would you like to roll a history check, Nala? I guess! All of the history tonight! The contrast between Nala and Josie is just <laughs> blinding sometimes. Divine. Perfect. <laughs> well, I got a 16, so that's pretty good, plus 6, so that's 22. Uh, you would understand that the realm of dreams is incredibly vast um, and not really of this world or especially of this plane if anything um, there seems to be very little research into the development like of being able to control something like that a um, few select spells maybe here and there but nothing like a, a shared consciousness sort of thing unless maybe you're some sort of like all powerful like entity like if something like that yeah you got it well, I can't say that there's specifically something that me or somebody like me could do. Uh, it's possible, maybe. There's a lot of ifs and unknowns. So if there was somebody or something that made you all share a dream, then... It's nothing that I really would know about. Hmm. But I thought you knew everything. When did I say I knew everything? You act like it. I don't know, you're just smart. Well, I have yeah. intelligence, but uh, I don't know everything. The world's kind of a big place and I have There's even worlds and worlds. Sorry. <laughs> I <laughs> am mind. a smart person. Don't mind the voice in your head. Shut up. <laughs> I'm going to minor illusion popcorn as I'm listening to this conversation. <laughs> Beautiful. Perfect. So, does that mean, Nala? Did you have a weird dream last night? Or no? Mark, did you have a weird dream? Yep. Mark, at this point, comes back from catching uh, a few rabbits and pulls out a, a satchel of berries. He's like, comes back. Uh, yeah, he was out and about skirting the uh, edges of this pathway as you guys are walking to get you guys food. Berries. <laughs> berries. <laughs> berries. Not to be confused with Barry the bear spirit, just regular berries. And yes, I did have a weird dream. I conveniently say as I emerge from the foliage. Convenient. <laughs> I'm imagining this very grand walk out of foliage, and I love it. With bear and berries and bear, bear, rabbits and bear, <laughs> dead rabbits. rabbits bleeding. Wait, yep. is. Um. I, Wait, uh... did you just say berry? The name yeah, but I was talking about these berries. No, 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 no. But you said not to be confused with berry. Right, from the dream that I had last night. Because I just agreed with Nala. What did I agree with? Well, what did I say? You... Who asked me if I had a dream? I did not I ask. Did. Ashlyn, my bad. Ashlyn asked me a question, and I responded. And yes, there is a bear named Barry. But also berries. But now I have berries, which are technically, well, it depends on the type, I suppose. Anyway, we're going to move on. They might be aggregated groups. 
<laughs> Did any of you know where you were in the dream? Oh, I was with all of you. And we were by a tree spire and then a lake thing and then in a town after we walked through some trees with the, some birdie things in it. That's and foggy. And it did... And no, it wasn't foggy. It was snowy. No, at the I end. mean... Here is foggy. But I remember... It was raining. Perfectly. Right. It mm. wasn't foggy, but it was raining. But it seemed like a, like a hyper-exaggerated form of where we were. It was strange. But you I didn't have strange. an exact location of where did you in like a name? No, the I named it here home while I was there. I think Omlira, didn't you say something about where we were in the dream? I remember you saying something. You said something about uh Yeah while Yeah. What about it? That's what you said in that day. What about yeah, it? That's what you said, right? That's what it looked like, anyway. It has beautiful skies. Everything is, like, super big. Like, the plants and animals. And it's just, like, overall really, really pretty. Um, I, you know, I've never been there myself. But, you know, as elves, we read uh and pass down stories and for those people who have passed down stories and things i've read that's what it fit a description of but i mean i can't say for sure but it was a dream so it doesn't matter right was it a dream if we all had the same dream that's i thought it could be what are like that's possible. The smell of popcorn <laughs> in the air as Maelstrom's not only make, making minor illusion, but also catching the smell of popcorn with his prestidigitation. Seriously. I'll allow it. Constitution <laughs> so. Is his staff next to him? Can I see his staff? His staff is always on him. Okay. I remember... I'll I allow it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, I will not oh, go on a date with you. <laughs> Ew. Uh, I'm going to point at Mushroom's staff and go... I mean, I know we see it all the time, but I think... I remember seeing a staff in the dream. Yeah. Again... And I don't know about you, but I saw Melsum's mask, which is strange in itself. Plus, he was super nice to me, which was weird. Who was nice to you? Both. Why is it weird if somebody's nice to you? Because, like, I don't know if you looked around in the dream at all, but... There were a lot of things that were reminiscent of Maelstrom. And it was strange because I feel like both was Maelstrom, but, but not <clears throat> in the dream. But then, like, he was nice to me, so couldn't have been Maelstrom. Or it could have been. Who knows? Maybe that's why his name is both. No, please keep going. This is great. <laughs> so who's keeping watch again? As you're gonna... walking? I'm keeping watch I'm as they're behind. disgusting because I'm not they're completely. And I suppose to a degree I am I'm talking, for, engaging with for them. Delicious okay. natural Give me edibles. A perception check for the both of you. Yeah, I am super not I've given up my surroundings. <laughs> That's a 11 plus um, perceptions, one, fi 12, plus 15. 15, yeah. You know. 11 plus one three is 15. 3 plus 3 for 6. Jake, you're killing me. <laughs> also, you might want to fix your camera a little bit. Oh, there you go. Now you're, you're, you're in frame now, Jake. You're good. First of all, you were like this. Okay. Cute. I will say. I will say, 
that as you guys are walking down this pathway, Hark is sneaking in and out here and there. Uh, Hark, you are off to the side, about to throw your axe into the head, the an- sorry, the body of yet another rabbit, and w- w- this rabbit, which seemed to have has seemed to evade you, all of your little traps and snares, seems to like jump around the other side and like it's kind of pissing you off. So you take your axe, go to throw it. And just as you throw it out of your hands, two arrows fly from either side, strike the, striking, striking the rabbit in both the, both of its back hind leg and the front leg. And it just it's pinned there, it's like kind of mangled, twisted for a second. It just says, I got him! No, I got him! And we're going to take a break. What? Take a break. Already? Yeah, I got to... That's gotta our time. So That's fine, I guess. We'll be right back. Pee break!
And we're back. Bake. Welcome back. Thank you for guys for tuning in after our break. During our break? We had a lot of viewers during our break. <laughs> they like the artwork. And the overlay. The overlay. So, where we left off, Hark, you were hunting in the woods. And as you're about to chuck your axe at a rabbit, two arrows seem to come out of nowhere, piercing the rabbit from both sides. And you hear two voices call, hey, I've got him! No, that was me. I'm hunting rabbit. No. Uh, <laughs> no, that was mine. Show yourselves. Uh, roll a perception check. Eleven. Okay, you don't see anybody in the vicinity. That Who was that? Uh, I'm I'm here, and I I'm gonna like slowly take my shield off of my back and make sure that's on my arm, but not be like aggressive about it, you know? Copy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was that was my rabbit. I was about to murder it and bring it to my friends. No, so. that was mine. I saw it first. Fat chance. I saw it first. <laughs> <laughs> Am I... How far? How far am I away from the rabbit that's dead? Well, not that you're aware of the rabbit that's dead, but oh, I'm not. Gotcha. Um, not too far. It, you you could hear the calling at like all three voices calling at this point. Uh, I'm you... gonna walk closer to the rabbit and look. Which one? Which arrow is the most likely kill shot? Um, give me actually a history check. <laughs> On the dead rabbit. See how good your memory is. Uh, that is a 13. Okay. Um, well, the one arrow seems to have pierced um, right above like the back of the rib cage, and then straight down into its gut, and the other one seems to pierce like right on, on and underneath of its spine from the, the back leg. Like, it's really hard to tell which one actually got the shot. And do I know which one hit first then? No, you said exactly they, same they time. looked pretty identical which time got which. So one's going through the front and one's going through the back? Yes. I'm going to settle the tie. I'm going to take my hand axe and chop it perfectly in half. <laughs> which way? <laughs> uh, so there's a front half and a back half. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was a right left half and a right half. Back. <laughs> front. Oh, okay. Yeah, that that would make sense. Yeah. Uh, no, front half, back half. Okay. Um, just chop it. You just chop it straight down the middle. It's a nice little slurpy sound, slurpy glurpy sound as you do so. I settled the tie for you. Okay. Where are you? And uh, as you look Show back up, yourself. as you look back up, two elf people, two people. Who look of elven descent, or as far as you could tell, with one of them has their hood up, appear from underneath one of the bushes far to your left, and then one closer to the road. Um, they both have long brown hair. They both have very pointed features, and they begin to walk towards you. Uh, everyone else at this point, you can hear the rest of this part, the, this three-way of conversation happening. Should we go over there to see if everything's all right? Probably. Huh. Only one of those voices is Hark's, so... Hmm. All right. All right. Um, this point, the, the two gentlemen seem to walk towards you, Hark. That was my shot. I got it first. I called the front. This guy is walking from the left when it was his arrow clearly must have come from the right. Based on you know the I direction of the arrow. Out to him. Yeah, so well that arrow came from your side. So the front half is your half and the back half is his half. That's how halves work and Are your you... arrow's pointing at Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna settle the tie. I'm gonna okay. referee this. Which which one are you giving to which? The guy on the left or the guy on the right? Uh, well, you said, I want to give them the one that their arrow should go to. I want to just give them their fair shot, basically. Okay. So, left to the guy on the left, right to the guy on the right. Cool. So, you, 
you path. As whatever. they walk towards you, their hands outstretched, he says, um, <laughs> See, this is the one I actually wanted. Because I chose that one. So I shot first and I got the front. This is exactly what the outcome I wanted. Yeah, yeah. Well, I shot it first, so I'll take the back half. So the back's where the thighs are anyway. Fair point. Good stew meat there. Okay, the rest of you join, and you can see there are two nearly identical-looking gentlemen here standing before Hark, with each each half of a rabbit, bleeding rabbit, in their hands. Arrows stuck out of them as, as both of them almost simultaneously pull out both of the arrows and put them back away. Everything all right? Yeah, we were just yeah. debating on who's the better shot, that's all. Well, clearly died. I'm the better shot, so... It's not, not really a question here. And it's hard to say who the better shot is. They were simultaneous, and the rabbit died. Oh, well, so, there's no way they were at the same exact say? time. There's no we we can we can test that. We have a target. We we can try to test this out if you want to go mono we mono. Yeah, that's fair. Where, if you want to try that. Where's the target? Uh, the one guy pulls out from the back of his uh, backpack, almost like a like a tri-folding, like a makeshift tri-folding like kind of stand and then puts a canvas over it with like a really shoddy painted target on it. Stay right here. He begins to walk 50 yards or so down the line. Or like down I, down the down the down the down the down the road? Down the road. I'm going to look at our friends, all of you, and just be like, let's get away. Like, let's yeah. walk away from the target a little bit here. I want to be nowhere near the line of fire for whatever competition we're now having <laughs> suddenly. Yes. Okay. Uh, the, the the one who's stand, still standing near you guys. Hello, I'm Quinna. Pleased to meet you. And that, there, there's, there's my brother, Alva. Wait, is everybody writes the names down? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Hark. Alva and Quip Quiver? Alva? Alva. Al and Quinna. So, Quinn is the one I'm talking to. Alva's the one who's gone down the line to take the first shot. That is correct. No, he's he's gone down the line to set up the target. Oh, okay. I, that's much safer than what I thought was currently <laughs> happening. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what brings you guys to this neck of the woods then? Just traveling. Traveling anywhere in particular? I, uh, uh, yes. I'll let, our, you can talk to my leader. <laughs> Silent cringing from the dragonborn. Well, I'm, um, not the leader, but uh, we're on our way to Zicarlo. Oh, Zicarlo, that's always a good time. Good spot. Any particular reason you headed there? To the big city? Uh, I believe this one important at uh, Hark has a job to fulfill and uh, just venturing is all. There's really not any other reason. So just the six of you drop it off a package that's interesting good great wonderful fantastic uh, at this point uh the other gentleman alva seems to be walking back and he's already like has his bow out quiver on his side taking out arrows looking at looking at a few of them to pick out the sharpest one and both of them begin to set up both of them begin to set up the uh their you know their stuff now hold on before you shoot you got to make sure you use different looking arrows you can't shoot the same identical arrows you got to have different fletchings a different tip something slightly well, that's not hard. different i use quail and he looks at you you see on his feathers they're like a, a lighter gray color and i use pheasant and the other one has like a, a much prettier color like to to its the fletching perfect fletching. Yeah, fledgings. Um, so who uses the, the pheasant? Uh, that'd be Quinna. Quinna with the pheasant arrows. Got it. Okay. Uh, are you guys just 
hunting today? Or do you uh, live nearby? Uh, well, I mean, we've been traveling for some time, uh, but we're both kind of just trying to see who's the better shot right now. Uh, kind of escalated a little bit, but we've maybe a little bit farther away from home than we intended to be. But it doesn't really matter. We've got time. So how do you normally determine who the better hunter is besides who shot first? Well, whoever gets the bigger game. Bigger or more? Well, most elusive. We've, we've, got, we've got a whole chart. And uh, Alva begins to fiddle through his notebook as he's trying to fight. He puts his bow down, begins to look through his notebook, and then like he, he's like basically showing a chart as Quinta like points to explain to it with it with the tip of his arrow, and he goes over a bunch of little complicated rules like most elusive, biggest prey, like most claws, most teeth, all these different things, and he, they all have like little tie marks throughout everything. I love these guys; they're my <laughs> new favorite. Right up, who's first? Uh, why don't we flip a a gold coin or a copper, a copper for it? Okay. Yeah. Uh, they both take out a cop, or they yeah, they both take out a copper at the same time, and both of them go to flip it. I'll I'll flip yours, Elva, and I just borrow. I flip it, call it in the air, Quina. Heads, heads, always heads. Good tails, better, tails better choice anyway. Um, so DM, you can decide what it was. Oh no, you're flipping the coin. <laughs> Do I, I don't actually have a coin. That's not Give it two sided die. I'll, I'll just do a d4 even and odd, then. That is tails. All right. So, Alva says, yes, knew it. Begin his luck always. And he begins to, without even, like, he kind of, like, takes a peek at the uh, the target. And then kind of looks back at back at Hark and, like, kind of, like, winks a little bit as he lets go of the arrow. And it sails all the way across 350 yards. He Yeah, he, he put it pretty far out there. Um and just kind of vanishes out of sight. 350 yards? I think that's really far. No, hold on. Damn. I think that was a little far. Hold on. I think that's <laughs> long range is a long boat. 600 feet, I th 600 feet, I think, right? That's a disadvantage, isn't it? At six? I thought it was like three six. <laughs> disadvantage. Yeah, like the longest range is, I thought, 600. So that's... uh. 200 yards, right? Well, the thing says 350, but that seems a little excessive. <laughs> 350 feet, though, right? Yeah, I think we'll just do Those feet. Are... Yeah, that seems more reasonable. Yards is awesome. We could do that if you really want to. Rule of cool. Yeah, whatever works. Are you poking the bird? You monster. Well, how big is a football field? Uh, that would be 300 oh, feet. 100 yards. Attack. 300 feet. So, three and a half football fields. Three and a half football fields. Let's say, let's, let's, let's go with 200 feet. It's going to be a 200 foot shot with disadvantage. That seems reasonable. I liked when it was over 900 feet. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the now arrow, we know it's magical. The arrow sails all the way down towards where you can just barely make out this this small little tripod of a canvas target all the way at the end where he put it. Right, that's your turn then. Quinn kind of peeks down and he's like, oh, I think you missed me. And then he begins to take out his arrow, taking a very well-aimed shot, and then like at the last second kind of pops up his arrow just a, just a smidge then lets lets it fly and then he kind of turns around and then bows deeply at the at the party so are you guys wagering or you're just seeing who's better oh we're just Before seeing who's better look. okay you want me to go take a look well we, I'll, I'll, we I'll can't be the look. judges here all right i'll go look which one's better okay are you walking the distance Yes. Okay. Hark begins to walk all the way down, taking, you know, kind of like a hurried jog as he's clanging, 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 clanging all the way down. Anybody else doing anything? I'm just watching. Watching those oh dudes. Guys. You keep an eye on them. Okay. Yes. Can I keep an eye on our surround? Sure. Everybody can roll a perception check if you like. 
I would like to be leaning against a tree, trying to be cool. That'd be a 20 I'm gonna blatantly plus stare at them. 6 for 26. Mine's a 6 plus a, a 1, so it's a 7. Alright, I need a new d20 right now. Real, real 15. Good I am! I've been using the same d20 though, you usually switch out, so... So, I'm oh, so close to 20. 19. Plus. 16 plus. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were done. No, you're fine. Plus seven. Okay. 16 plus. 26 club. 26 club. Okay, you can keep an eye on them and get work as you're keeping a watchful eye on these two. They both seem to be. As, as grumpy as the one sounds, he seems just as equally as jovial as the other. As they're both just kind of like. Well, like the one is like beginning to like sharpen another. Uh, another arrow, the other one's beginning to like kind of make sure his twistings on his uh, bow are all set and they're just kind of like jibber jabbering back forth like just calling each other out for some <laughs> bullshit nonsense uh, Hark you made, you managed to go all the way down to where the target is, the target seems to have kind of flown back like you know, the, you can see where he like kind of stuck it in the ground and you can see it's like ticked back a little bit and then ticked back further, like there's like two distinct smudges where the, the mud was that it was stuck in and on the target, you see both arrows, both in the center, kind of just like, a, like almost like a V shape, the two of them, in the, right in the center of the target. Boom, boom. <laughs> so they're the same. <laughs> they're the same. They're same. Got same. it. Okay. Um, I'm going to... We said I was at 200 feet. Yeah, give or take. All right, I'm going to pace it out and put it another 50 feet back and have them shoot again. Okay. So I'm going to grab their arrows for them. Sounds good. Uh, yeah, so uh, they were the same. Same shot. <laughs> I moved the target 50 feet further, and I figured you could shoot again. Well, that's not fair. He had, he had got to go first last time. Let me go first this time. Let me go the first. I have an idea. It's nice to meet you, gentlemen. Oh, hello. How may I help you? How about we really test your skills? I say you add the 50 more feet, but you both turn around and you shoot at the target at the same time. The same time? We could do that. Same time. With your back turned. With back, with the back to, towards the target? Yes. Or, we, or, each, or each other? No, to the target. Shooting, shooting backwards. I, I like it. Okay, so they both kind of line up. Any bets? Taking any bets now? Anybody? Anyone want to take a, take a bet on which one of us will be the one to get the target first? Who will have the better shot? Well, Anyone? Out of the two of you, between the two of you, which one's going to win? Absolutely. All in good fun. Just, just a simple bet between you all. Nothing, nothing gaining for us. I'm here for the spectacle. Okay. I'll put a copper down for an accent. <clears throat> I Quina? Oh, right, that's uh, me. I got a I got a copper for you and Alva, I got a copper for you. And I have 5 gold to whoever misses the target. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them kind of like look at each other and then look back, and then both of them take their positions, keeping keeping eye contact with each other. Both of them turn. Well, they can't really keep contact, eye contact if they're turning sideways. Yeah, they'll turn their heads sideways back to the wall, back to the arrow, back to the target, and then both of them just kind of like trying to figure out how to twist their arms just the right way, and then both of them kind of like end up in almost the exact same position. Both of them are going to fire at the same time. Wait, are you, is there like a signal to fire? Go. <laughs> okay. I shoot a fireball into the sky. Signal, fire. Fireball would definitely be a signal. Oh, I know, oh, fireball. <laughs> <laughs> the arrows are ablaze as they sail down the path. Okay. Um, both of them, you, all you hear is the, the wind across this road and like the poing of both of their air their bows strings as the arrows sail all the way down 
towards the target once more. I'll go take a look. <laughs> okay. Kark, you go take a look. And uh, upon further I'm inspection... You see that both arrows are crisscrossed, almost like like the, the tips of the arrows are like almost smashed together at the very center of this target. Like the archer's paradox of the arrow going. I just, uh, yeah, I, I don't even know what to do with this anymore. I'm gonna just bring them their arrows. All right, who and, won? Who was it? Come on, come on. We've got, we uh, got five gold going on the line here. Well, there was five gold to whoever missed. And well, neither did we miss? of you missed. Neither of you missed. In fact, you were both exactly in the same spot yet again. See, this isn't any fun anymore. you got to pick a winner. I can't pick a winner if you're both the same. I win my two copper. Because well, there we both... go. There's one winner. Yay! <laughs> Well, I guess we'll just have to keep trying then. Lovely to meet so. you all. Yeah, hopefully we'll run into each other another time. Oh, I'm sure we will. Have a splendid hunt. Okay. I'm going to head back towards the road. Okay, they, we, they, they keep walking down the, the direction that they were originally traveling, uh, going to pick up their little guy, their little target guy the process and then kind of dart off into the woods one after the other so hey quick question and i guess now it would be a history check since they're gone if you so desire um were they wearing sleeves by any chance uh sleeves yeah they had sleeves on like they had a cloak on and then like like looked like uh, leather armor maybe like a thin kind of under could I see the their forearms sleep. at all? Um, the one of them had, a, had them kind of like pushed back, and the other one had them like longer. Uh, so either of them, did I see any tattoos on their wrists at all? Uh, roll a history check. Uh, 19 plus 5, so 24. Uh, you recognize a symbol etched on the wrist right about here, which would emphasize or imply that they were banished from the eastern half of Zakarlo. Which is where you're from. Actually, probably a few people who would like join in and out of your troop every now and then, your, uh, your caravan. caravan. You'd, you'd see that symbol pretty often. Okay. Um, and I saw that on both, or only the one who had their sleeves rolled? Uh, I mean, you only saw it on the one who had his sleeves up. Which was? Which was Alva. Alva with the tattoo. Or uh, brand or tattoo? It's more of a brand. Establish your brand. My brand. Spare. Well, shall we be on, then? Traveling, walking. That was a good little distraction for ten minutes or so. I got two I liked copper. it. Not bad. Really two copper. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to get two copper. <laughs> yeah. Favorite so in my book. I guess. Great. Like, I will never clear. float your boat. I think or ship. Ship. Whatever floats your ship. Maybe you should have shot them, Lyra. Nah. They don't need to know. I'm just happy they're not working with you, Lyra. I'm sorry, Maelstrom. Can you repeat that? Hark was talking to me. I'm just happy they're not with your group. I second that. It's I not also second that. 
It's not every day you run across two sharpshooters in the woods just shooting for fun. I mean, there's always some competition amongst elves. As long as it's not to kill people. No. I admittedly they was a little horrible. concerned when they were talking about game. Mm. Yeah, that sounded weird to you too. But then they had this elaborate chart, chart which was a, a little bit of a relief. Though, I definitely think we should maybe keep our eyes more open than we have had them on this road. Guilty. Ugh, pain, I would say. Just a little distracted is, uh, is all, I think. Yeah, did you see that? That was amazing. They, they're great shots. Uh, yes. That's not what I mean by distracted, though. But sure. What do you mean? Uh, everybody has been uh, talking about the dream. So uh, that's what I meant. Oh, I thought you were talking about something else. Mm. It's fine. Like any number of the horrible things that have befallen you in the past week? Yeah. That'd be fair. That'd be understandable. You'd be completely justified. I'm with you, Nola. I mean, not everything is horrible. Okay. Uh, it's at this point that the sun begins to go down. Um, you guys are approaching like the end of a pretty long eight-hour hike. Would you actually like to set up camp? Yeah, I'll look for a nice little suitable spot somewhere along, like a little clearing, not too close to the road, maybe not under a magic tree this time. Okay, roll a survival Whatever. check. That is 15 and 3, so 18. Okay, you're able to find like a smaller, oh, like kind of a small clearing that you could easily set up a few tents and such trees in the area. I mean, there's lots of trees in the area. It's just off the road, but, like, you know. It's a clearing. Hey, how about over there, guys? For our evening's rest. How easy can you see this clearing from the road? Uh, it's probably about, like, a... 350 yards. 3,000 feet from the edge of the road. <laughs> Uh, probably like fifty, like with like a little under fifty yards. Can I see the road from where I, I'm standing in the clear? If there was like a lighted caravan, you might be able to like peer, see them through the trees, like walking by. But um, you know, you'd have to like actually act, actively look for you guys on the road to see you. I feel that maybe a bit more obscured location would be better. Very well. I'll I'll look again. Another. Did you say fifty yards? Yeah. Maybe at least into the woods a little off of the clear. Yeah. So I'll just look for another spot, another fifty to one hundred yards out. Okay. Roll into the survival check. There are no spots. <laughs> there are no spots. <laughs> there. Do we stubborn, say 200 yards? 200. Stubborn, tired. Stubborn, tired heart is stubborn. This spot. Well, I suppose we're here. Is I there mean, a tree, like, within 20 feet of the camp, 30? Yeah, like, it, it's a very small clearing, like, maybe the size of, like, like a living room. There's still bushes and such. Bushes. Hawk, would you mind uh, throwing that sweet set of climbing gear up into that tree for me? But if I throw it up into the tree, then how are you going to use it? I just wanted to inconvenience you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
uh, I think I'll just keep it on me. Do you need do you need to get up there? Nope. I just just really wanted to inconvenience you. That's fine. You look you look good for tossing. I bet you I could toss you up there. That sounds significantly less safe. <laughs> <laughs> she, said it. She, she said, said it. it. she said it. She said it. I toss her. I toss her into the tree. <laughs> Roll me an athletic strike. I just imagine her like scrunching I'm little, down. So you know. I'm little. Like a cannonball. And... <laughs> that is a six plus seven. Okay, you thirteen. Kind of toss her. I'm literally making ac acrobatics check. Sixteen. Okay. With after he very lazily throws you in the air, you're able to grab onto one of the branches and kind of swing up with barely any momentum to swing up on top of the branch. <clears throat> Thank you. You're welcome. Don't kill me. <laughs> now I'm gonna go set up a campfire or something. Yeah, I'm gonna start cleaning my rabbits and get them ready to eat. I got one for each of us. I'm going to use my vantage point on the tree to look for shit. Okay. If um, there is any shit happening. Give me a perception check for your watch and a survival check for the cleaning of rabbits. I want to make sure I go far enough away from camp where the guts don't attract a bear or wolf or coyote slash predator. So, like... I guess another, let's say, 350 yards. 350 no. yards. Before Hark goes let's, any let's further. Let's say a good 100 yards or so. Before Hark goes any further, uh, I'm going to shout, do you want any help with that? Sure. Two will be faster. going to assist Hark with the shredding of rabbits and their skin. Gross. Nothing like rabbit skinning bonding time <laughs> between fighter and barbarian. I got it a 12 plus 7. Okay. Keeping an eye out, looking around your surrounding area for any noticeable passers-by. Uh, I'm not going to set up my 10 tonight. <gasps> but uh, I got a 14 for cleaning wrap. I think I can with help with the food, too. Was that with advantage? Never mind, that's a 21 with advantage. There you go. Okay, you begin to very, um, very familiar with how you were raised with just cleaning rabbits, kind of like roughly rip off the skin and pop it and whatnot, and whatnot, but Ashlyn's like showing you a little bit more of a delicate way to preserve some of the extra meat that would originally get ripped off with the skin. And you guys prepare the five rabbits. Uh, Maelstrom, you were doing what? Um... I am going to ritual cast Unseen Servant, and I am going to have him start sewing my clothes and fixing my uh, my cloak and stuff as I begin resting. Okay. Like, are you sleeping resting or resting resting? No, I'm just resting resting. Okay. Did you I, say can't, too? I can't sleep. Yeah. <laughs> I can't sleep. I I think I can help with the food prep just to help a little. But you guys are doing great, but um and I wanna start ritual casting purify food and drink on the rabbits. Rabbits. Okay. The so the three of you are able to collectively prepare a meal just as just just as far as you think would be safe from the camp that you guys set up. So, hypothetically speaking, then, were this, say, like, Monster Hunter, what kind of potential benefits might this new, delicious, purified rat... I'm joking. So we're <laughs> going to cook these rabbits. So Not tasty. poisoning or diseasing you. That's what so, I can I'm, Yeah, I'm going to give <laughs> each person rabbit on a stick... Rabbit on, I'm just going to give everybody a rabbit on a stick. 
Okay. Are you guys letting it fire? Um, that is the best and most efficient way to cook. So <laughs> I'm going to light a very small fire that we can later put out as full dark approaches if we so desire. You don't have to leave it lit all night, right? Well, you have to leave it lit, fam, all night. Do you want some fire? Sure, yeah. Needs fire or something. Or would a fire bolt be too hectic no, to start a fire? You, you okay. Can, anything that's flammable that a fire bolt touches will light on fire. It's like a long, right. it's like a super good Zippo, really. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it is. I mean, it being a cantrip, you can basically just snap some fire. <laughs> fire! Okay. Um, was that Amlira's first wash? Are you guys taking a second and or a third wash? I will take a second wash with my owl. With your owl? Okay, roll me a perception check after you, after Amlira finally decides to take her trance. Would you say it's dark now? Uh, yeah, yes. at this point it's pretty dark. <laughs> Brendan with the aesthetic. <laughs> it's dark. Oh, not that one. Heck. I enjoy the aesthetics. <laughs> it's stupid fun. <laughs> if nobody's going to volunteer for a third watch, I will take a third watch. Nelson, did you roll? You said when she was ready. I didn't know. Oh, actually I mean, yeah, I was done. No, it's dark. Twelve. Does my owl roll at all? Uh, I think your owl. Do we want to add a static. Would roll with advantage as well. Yeah, keen eyesight and hearing or something. So. more okay he rolled an 18 okay you guys keep an eye out and at one point besides the hooting owls and the crickety frogs yeah the crickety frogs in the distance you can just barely make out the sound of like a twig snapping and then hungry like kind of animalistic gurglings as you kind of uh, kind of can tell that maybe something had found the remnants of the rabbits that you guys had mutilated before. Off in the distance? Yeah, in the direction that Hark, Ashland, and Gilbert had went. Okay. And that would be the end of your watch. Is anybody taking a third watch or is Nelson staying up the rest of the night because he's always awake? I mean, if he can, I'll... that's fine. Otherwise, I'll do it because I have dark vision. Or Nala, Nala and I can stay up together and hang out and keep watch. There is yeah. no yeah. downside to taking watches. I'm going to take a watch. Going to take a watch. We'll watch together then. Okay, you can roll a perception check, either one or the other, or with advantage. I'm going to actually send Tote up and have him just kind of do more of an aerial look since okay. he's better with perception than me. So. Oh, wait, no, not this one. I guess we'll, we'll let Tote do the watch, I guess, then. I just dropped right. the die on the ground. Ooh, that's a 17. Oh, I, I get advantage. So Ooh. 17 plus 3 is 20, or. <laughs> Or, yeah, no, that's, that one's a six. So, 20 not natural. We'll go okay. with. Um, you, anything you'd like to do, say, or? Any last words for Tote as he gets so... knocked out of the air by the. Oh. I'm sitting next to Hark with my eyes closed <laughs> and I'm looking around as Tote. Oh, yeah, I guess there's no point in trying to have a conversation with zombie dragon then. <laughs> I mean, you can talk at me. I won't hear you. It's no, I'm you. good. It's fine. Great. <laughs> this is fun. We're having fun. We're not friends. <laughs> so awkward. 
Yeah, you're, you're, That's what I want it to be. The rest of your night goes without any hitch as your owl keeps an eye out for any sort of intruder into your camp. And you, the rest of you wake at dawn. Or, you know, shortly after dawn. Ambiance slide. <laughs> uh, clean up camp and hit the road, right? Leader, point us in the right direction. <laughs> now it's bright out. That was wonderful. Thank you. All right. I point us in the right direction. All right. You said three days, correct? Three to five. Ah, those are different numbers, so that's super helpful. How fast you go? I mean, I could tell you three to twenty if you would prefer. Three to fifty. One to one hundred. You know, I think you might want to work on your leadership style. It's it's coming across a little her. sarcastic. It's it's very damaging to morale when your leader gets all sassy like this. So three to five, let's call it four days, maybe if we make good time, right? Yes. Sure. Is there a chance we're still being chased by uh, that lizard who shall not be named? Absolutely. I just walk off. I just, I start leading the way. Do you go in the right direction? Oh, I follow her then. I'm not listening. I'm just going. That's hilarious. Brutal. <laughs> but, but, like, I'm gonna, like, stay just over your shoulder. Like, really, though, like, what are the chances of him, like, how far do you think he'll chase us? Out of curiosity. Because I for sure thought that he'd be waiting for us at the next town since we slept by the road, but then he wasn't there. And so now I'm a little concerned that we're going to like walk into trouble like a trap. So, you know. Like, Go ahead. What is the extent? How far do you think he'll try and follow you before he gives up? Well, considering... I have no idea what he's doing. I can't honestly tell you if he's going to continue or not. I saw him and that's it. So he's after you because he wants your book. He wants, is it your heart? Does he want your heart? I read some of Umlira's novels. Okay. Like, <laughs> Does he miss you? What is going on? Nalme has made the constitution saving throw to not punch hard in the mouth. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't stop. It's an actual 20! <laughs> okay, you don't punch hard in the mouth. Unless you want to. I love <laughs> not getting punched. My punch would probably do nothing to you anyway. Probably break her finger claws. Or his little tusk. Or like... No! Hark me make his little tusks. <laughs> you know, Hark, uh. As. I honestly don't know. I. I know as much as you do. And, uh. I'm sorry that I can't provide you with any more information. I. Truly wish I could, but I really don't know. What he wants, where he is, what he's doing now. As long as you love me. Sorry, I had to. I'm going um, to expeditious retreat. Um, expeditious retreat. Expeditious retreat. The fuck I'm out just, of there. I'm just gonna let. I'm gonna drop it and just walk in somber silence as my leader has demonstrated. Chest out. Yep. Chin up. Shoulders back. Shoulders back. Strutting on super fast. Faces pass. God damn. Are you sure you're not a bard? 
<laughs> yeah. Hashtag level six multi-class. What up? <laughs> with, with my minus one modifier for charisma. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I mean, you do play flute or whatever. That was like one time. I take out my flute and play it as we... And suddenly, Gilric cast silence. Oh, it's, it's everything's dark and quiet. That's not how silence works, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, I'm both. I can't do both yet. <laughs> I guess realistically, though, since I didn't get any answers that I didn't, I guess, already know, I'm going to go do what I did yesterday and look for, you know, food and drink. Okay. Sad and defeated from not getting any answers, you go to find more food and drink. Yeah, like, I'm going to not just walk into the brush. Like, this is skulking. This is a pout. Like, this is like a pouty shuffling my feet, kicking at dirt. You know how dandelions, like, they sit there and mind their own business? I, like, punt them, you know? I'm a little sad. But I'm going to go look for bunnies to murder or something. <laughs> it's... I... I... I see Hark looking sad, and I, probably to the detriment of his success, I pal around with him and like pat him on the shoulder, give him a guidance or two, just try to make him feel better. Like you kicked that dandelion so hard <laughs> <laughs> that it, the next generation of dandelions just grow, which just <laughs> petals off. <laughs> oh, so right, that's so what I'm doing. Who's helming the? Journey forward still. Nala? <clears throat> okay, roll a survival Later. check. Later. And I'm always looking behind. Okay, no, I give me a perception check. Ooh, well that's an 18 plus one, so 19. Oh wait, no, survival. So plus three. That's, an, that's 18 plus three is 21. Alira? I can bet. Um, six plus seven. Okay. So, you continue to head in a northern direction at this point as the road is leading you northward. Um, don't really seem to be noticing, any, notice anything coming from behind as you guys are traveling forward for another three or three and a half or so hours before far down the road you see a wagon led by one horse. It looks like there's a rider on it as, as he's, he's coming towards you guys and you guys are walking towards him. I step out of the way to make sure he has plenty of space on the road. Okay. But he's like he's, way far ahead, like, right? He's like 350 oh. yards away. <laughs> All right. Do you guys see that? I still get out of the way. <laughs> no. What? Do you guys see that? Yes, there's a person. Okay, but do you think he saw us? Probably. <laughs> if we can see him, I'm pretty sure he can see us. No, it's okay. pretty big. <sighs> Fine. I'm going to go hide in those bushes over there. He's gonna okay. probably... No, I'm little. It's fine. It's like right outside. I just imagine this dark little spot just going... <laughs> scampering away. Maybe I look like a bunny rabbit. Who knows? Is it, is it sunny? Uh, it's it's like maybe it's like 10, 30, 11 okay. o'clock. It's um... Yeah, probably be, be sunny at this point. It's nice spring. It was a colder morning, but it's not heating up a lot, but it's temperate. It's spring. You know, Mira, if he sees you, it's just going to be suspicious even more, so fine. Nola, maybe she's worried about all of her assassin friends coming to kill her. If that was an assassin <laughs> friend, I feel like uh, they the wouldn't way be to riding. would be through deception, all packed into one little wagon, looking like it's just a common wagon. Thank you. And then they all unfold. Is it a covered wagon, or is it like a cart? Well, a perception check. I mean, are we going to be suspicious of everything and everyone? We weren't in the other town. You weren't. 17. Okay, with a 17, you can see now, as it, the wagon approaches you and approaches you guys, you're just standing there or something. Um, looks like an uncovered wagon. Like, it's just a very simplistic wagon, four, four wheels, led by one horse-drawn carriage. Uh, upon it is 
a very short dwarf, dwarven man. Huge bushy beard, very bald head, big red nose. Very stereotypical. But he's he's does, still he's still a little ways out. Does he look like he could potentially have been a blacksmith? Uh, I mean, he's of dwarven descent, but he looks like he's wearing. I mean, yeah, because that's racist. That is racist. <laughs> um, Literally. Um, he is currently wearing really nice robes, though, like a very. You can just make out like a very colorful, sort of, garment that he's wearing as he's this far away still. And how far away is that now? Maybe like he's been getting field. closer. And we've been walking, right? Or were we just standing there like a bunch of schlubs? I'm walking. I'm in a walking. Walking. I would, I would, I'd have been walking. I'd have been walking. Like laying down, down, down the shrubberies. shrubberies. Okay. 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 Well, you both yeah, can't tam- talk at the same time. <laughs> no. Sorry. No, it's okay. Too many dimensions at once. <laughs> so, everyone except Amlir is walking on the road? I will stealthily move at half speed. Stealthily move at half speed. (laughs) Yes. Off the path, though. Okay, roll me a stealth check. (laughs) 16 plus 7. Okay. Confirmed. Confirmed. Okay, um, Oh, that's weird. <laughs> what? On the because of the camera placement on the stream, seeing Hart's face, or rather Jake's face, go off this way and appear over this way. <laughs> maybe, it's done now, maybe we'll so. just switch them so they can be be the right way. Anyway, um, <laughs> hello there. This gentleman calls out to you as you guys are beginning to come closer and closer. Hello, my fine friend. Hello. Hello. My dangerous doing some good, general goods. Absolutely. But first I must ask, are you coming from Zakala? Zakala's a ways away. I'm coming from Zafari. Oh, so like... Approximately... How far are we from Zakala? Zakala? Ah, maybe a week's travel by horse. When you say by horse, you mean dainty walking or like full speed? Well, horses usually walk faster than humans do. I mean, no offense, but horses are a little faster than you. It's all right. She's just dismissively. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> <Ashlyn. laughs> the only human. <laughs> the only human. <laughs> what kind of goods are you peddling, fine sir? We've got anything you need. We've got blankets, we've got warm sweater wear, we've got summer swim trunks, we have bottles, we have anything you your heart could desire. Bottle. Well, in that case, I will pull a huge scroll <laughs> out of my bag of holding. Not at once, just slowly unfurling as I pull out my giant shopping. Great. Some people may say I have a very big heart. It desires many things. <laughs> they sound like my kind of man. What can I interest you in? Oh. My. Uh, in the meantime, you said bottle? Or like a jar? Oh, one sec. Okay. Uh, yeah, we get any sort of size jar you need. What size are you looking for? About uh, maybe yay big. Like a jam jar. Like a jam jar. We could do a jam jar. And he takes out a piece of paper and a quill and like dips it on a small inkwell that is actually like um, in his little cartridge, almost like where a cup holder would be. Um, Cute. Dips, dips the ink in there and then begins to write on the paper. Oh, I'm separate. Separate checks. <laughs> uh, I got, um... Go ahead. I got a question for you. Do you have any potions? Potions? Think, yeah. We probably have some potions. What so what the potions you're looking for? The kind that make you feel really good when you're hurting. When you're hurting. Specifically. Uh, Ashland, that could be a number of things. That might also be booze. <laughs> I don't 
want that. I want uh, healing potions. You got anything to make me feel better when I'm... Oh, yeah, I'm sure we have plenty of those back in Zacarlo. So if you just let me... What size... What sort of potion are you looking for? The potion of... Mine? No, minor? Greater? There's... Uh, the not the small healing. one. Like, potion there's a... Because, like, the little one only does a little bit for me. Push something a little more than a little bit. Yeah, we, we, we could probably do something like, like that. Like a greater healing potion. That sounds good. Yeah, mm -hmm. I need those. Absolutely. Anything else for anybody? Anyone else? You, uh, my friend. You... friend. Looking oh. at you. Why, well, yes. Um, no, look at Hark. Have... Sorry, Hark, Hark is about to talk. I'm sorry. He... You're rifling through a list. Do you have any plate mail? Plate mail. That's a tall order, but I mean, you you're a tall fella, but we could probably do plate mail. I mean, if you got the gold for it. I can offer you a hundred and fifty gold for plate mail. Are you just writing a list down? Is that what I see you doing? Up there? Roll perception check. A hundred and fifty gold. That seems a little low for plate mail, especially from moss glades. That seems a little little low. Are you Moss Glade? Moss Glade? Me? No, I'm not Moss Glade. We, we buy from him and sell sell here. But uh, no, I don't personally. I'm not Moss Glade. So are you just writing on a list of materials that you need to pick up and deliver to us? Do we have to stand right here to get the items we're asking for? Give me that perception check. I, uh, I, got, a, I got a very low prescription. Eight. It's eight. <laughs> it's awful. It's, eight. it's awful every time. Did anybody else roll? Sure. I did not. Uh, if, if we want to, if you want to, he's... if you want to look at what he's doing, mm -hmm. you may roll. Uh, I don't know because I'm interested in things. I got a twelve. Was... I got thirteen plus uh, one, well... fourteen. Investigation or insight? Oh. Uh, I said percep prescription. Perception. Perception. Oh, I lied. That was a nine, not a four, not a twelve. <laughs> okay. Um, who got that? Was it, I thought I heard sixteen. I had fourteen. Fourteen. Okay, Shit. fourteen. You can yeah, see. Thirteen. Looking about his his small, very, not very elegant, um, elegantly crafted wagon. Um, there is a really, really, really nicely, um, seam like you know sewed um, almost like a banner. I'm thinking like a thing you put on like the back of a couch, like a doily kind of thing, but it's like really, really pretty, like kind of decorating like his seat area. Um, but uh, you know, he has he's got cushions for sitting and traveling, and in his wagon is one thing. It is a very large chest. So he's still running down. He's like, "Oh, don't, don't you worry. We can have anything you need. We will double check and we can get it for you. No problem." Might take a little bit to run through the warehouse, but we should be able to find it for you. So we wouldn't have these items right here, right now. Oh yeah, of course you would. It might take a minute or two, but you know we can have it for you. What's that? What? All right. Oh, there, we didn't hear you. No, it's okay. I was just talking to Jake. I didn't realize he had his finger on the button. Finger on Jake, the button. what'd she say? Call her out. Call what'd her she say? Out. Let the rat loose. She, she asked if she could get into the chest. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. Um, okay, so... What, Hark, you were look, what were you looking for? You asked for a thing, too. Uh, I asked for plate mail, but yeah. I've asked everybody for plate mail and every gold. time. Yeah, I, I already have a deal with Moss Glade. He gave me the letter to give his brother for the sword. So um, we have a deal for reduced costs. So I'll wait until I'm at Moss Glades for that. How about a javelin? Yeah, we could do a javelin. I mean, it might be a little hard to get it out of the chest, but we can do that. And you, sir, with the with the mask on, you said you had a lot of things you were looking for. Well, yes. Uh, first, may I ask your name? My name is Uther. 
Glad you could make it, Uther. Uther, who do you represent? I see you have a fine banner. Uh, well, I represent myself. Uh, more like a solo contractor with this chest here. S solo contractor with an entire warehouse? Well, we kind of sublet. We pay, do, pay our dues, and then they let us use the chest and get the things from the warehouse. But kind of get my own profits, uh, if you know what I mean. Now, how much do you pay to to rent a, such a chest? Oh, it's... He kind of he kind of goes into like a weird explanation of it's basically like explaining like how people buy taxis, like the the, the taxi uh, pass or whatever. The, the chest medallion. I put <laughs> that back in Brega. <laughs> um, no, they're very expensive, far far out of my price range. Okay, well, Uther, um, do you have any scrolls? Uh, not too many scrolls. You'd probably have to buy them specifically. There's like a weird regulation thing over there in Zakarlo about, oh, you know, you can't buy and sell magic unless you have the license for it. And he goes into another rant about these weird laws that are going on. Great. More more tokens that need to be purchased. Wonderful. Well, if it's in Zakarlo and we're not in Zakarlo, why can't we do it here? Well, I mean, I, 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 we, we, the warehouse that I'd buy from doesn't allow the selling of potion, or uh, not potions, magic, magic scrolls and such. They like to keep it in house, where you want to buy them, where they're created instead of at the warehouse through us. Got it. All right. Um, do you have a, do you have any current fashions from Cigar, Cigarlo? You said you had a. Swimsuits and etc. <laughs> Maybe some summer wear. Well, we we do have some very generic stuff. Uh, there's a few nice sort of fine things. I don't really have like a picture catalog for you, but uh, if you're looking at my tapestry here, that's a one of a kind. And the thing that I'm wearing here, also one of a kind. So that's made by Emilia of Zafari, but uh, it's one of a kind. It's very rare, not for sale, but we do have some stuff here. So if I have desired what you're wearing, you cannot offer what my heart desires. Oh no, I could never sell this. It's, it has way too much sentimental value. I mean, I feel she like was, you really hyped me up, Uther. She was a wonderful seamstress. It's terrible what happened to her. You came in real hot, and now you're, you're not. You're not really. You're not really putting out. <laughs> huh. right. Okay. Well, how about flasks of oil? And a lead box. Sure, we can do that. That shouldn't be a problem at all. Okay, price, please. Okay, uh, he writes down the price for. Or he tells you guys the price, and you pay the prices that you price him because for... there's a lot of things to go through. Okay, cool. How many potions can I buy? Uh, well, How he, many are he tells you that one greater healing potion is 150 gold. Okay, well, then I will buy generic clothes. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on. What, what sort of color are you looking for? Are you looking for anything but in particular? Oh, something quite generic. Nothing that stands out. Are you sure you were really inter interested in the fancy clothes? I mean, I'm sure... Yeah, and then you, then you shot me down. So let's let's go with like a... Maybe like a base green. Or like a... Like a... Like a brown. Green tunic. Got it. Looking for more like a commoner or more like a merchant style or a noble style? Or just uh, let's, uh, let's well off commoner. This fine. Can do. Okay, so anything else from anybody else before I uh, submit the list? Uh, I have uh, like one of those potions that... The young miss is having as well. One uh, potion, two potions. We're going for third potion. What do we need? Um, how many gold pieces are one platinum? Ten. Ten. Okay. Put me down for two potions. Two, two. Going for. Do we have two, three potions of healing? Four from the young la blonde lass. I want three. <laughs> <laughs> you want three. I want three, and they're one fifty each, right? Yeah, they're one fifty each. So three, oh. four, five, six. What's the lesser? I want just one. Lesser is 15. Yeah, hook me up with two lessers. 
150 is a greater. And the greater does uh, 44 plus... 44 plus 4. Yeah. Yeah. Lesser is like 2d4 plus 4 or something. 2d4 plus 2. That's that's the word. And how much is the lesser? 50, 50 gold. Um, I'm gonna have one greater, one lesser. Yeah, if you and... can all write it down in chat, that'd be. Yeah. yeah I'm gonna write oh it. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, would you have any summer wardrobes for somebody of my size? Sorry, I man, I had a reaction. I had to startle me. Oh yeah, absolutely. We have all all kinds of shapes and sizes: dwarves, dragonborn, tiefling, anything you need. Hmm. No, I'll pass on it now. Yeah. Last question for you before you submit the order. Of course, you anything. Said, you said magic licensing and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Does that only apply to scrolls, or maybe just you know lesser magic item? Well, I mean, good luck buying any sort of fancy magic items from anybody. Sorry, that good luck affording any sort of magic items from somebody who doesn't want to let it go. But smaller, lesser things might be a little more costly and not something I can sell. But I'm sure you can go to the stores there and buy anything you like, anything small you might need. Good to know. I'll keep that in mind in a week. In a week. And uh, Uther, how far did you say Zafari was by foot? From Zafari, here? just another day or, day and a half or so. Day and a half or so. Okay. That would be, uh, you know, somewhere between three and five days of traveling for us. So that's, that's right. Oh, what are you coming from? I thought it would be. Uh, just, you know, the, the next town back there. Uh, Kelfast. Oh, you guys are coming from Kelfast. I love that. That's what I'm headed next. The good people there. Good mayor. Yeah, they were, uh, they were having a little bit of a, I don't know, something to do with their wizard. I don't even know what was going on. Something happened to him. Uh, uh, we don't know. I don't know. Not Great. sure. I'm glad we had this talk. Anything <laughs> else from anybody else that you might need? Uh, was there, you spoke of a seamstress that, uh, I guess something bad happens to her. Uh, is there a seamstress at all in the next town or in Zakarlo? Well, I don't think Zafari has really ever found there a nice seamstress of the right caliber that Emlite was, but, uh, there's probably plenty of seamstresses around in Carlo. It's a pretty busy town. Suddenly, I'm turning a little more Italian, or something. <laughs> Uther's last name is actually Strongbad. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I was going. Whoops. I Great. like it. So he takes the the. Go ahead. No, oh, no, didn't run. No, I'm fine. Both of you sound like you're going to say something. I thought I was, but then I'm like, nah, just kidding. JK. Okay, he sure takes this right. list of things with all the gold, and he collects it from you. Wait, do you guys hand him the gold? No, I want my item first. That's not exactly how it works. I apologize for any inconvenience, but I need the gold first. So Fahogakas. Sorry, I need the gold first. Better. <laughs> Why? I like it either way. <laughs> well, I mean, that's how it works. I take the list, I give them the gold, they take the gold, then they send the item back. One way, two way, that's it. I can't put a transaction, I can't just ask for an item and then have it here, then I just kind of stuck here with the item. Is he, is he shitting me? He's bullshitting me? Roll an inside check. So it's like my time. It's my time. Come on, unicorn die. Ooh, it's 17. What, you said insight? So yes. that's, I think, plus. Insight. Oh, that's plus one. So, 18. 18. Uh, he seems pretty forthright. He doesn't seem like the most intelligent guy, but um, he seems to be kind of like understanding that, like, it kind of, it's kind of an inconvenience trusting a random dude. Perfect. I gave him my money. And then I stand in front of his carriage. Okay. 
I'll, I'll do the same. I mean, mine's only five silver, so I'm not, like, at a huge loss for one javelin. Okay. I, and I'll stand behind the carriage. Okay. Is everybody else giving the money that they requested? Yeah. 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 I, okay. However much a jar is. It's like silver's worth. Can I pet the pony? It's a horse. <laughs> Every horse is a pony. That's racist. <laughs> okay, he takes the list, takes the gold, opens the chest, huge chest, especially compared to him, lifts it up, heaves it up, and it's like massive, this chest, and puts the list of stuff with um, all the gold into a pouch, into like a, almost like a paper parcel sort of thing, and then reaches over and slams the door, or the, the lid of the chest closed, and it kind of turns around and gives a nice toothy grin, really spaced teeth, few of them cracked. So, just so I'm aware, you put an object in the chest, and then I would assume, based off of your lengthy description about the medallion, there's another chest at the warehouse. That's usually what it, how it works, yeah. Okay. And how big wait. is this chest? This chest is, like, it, it could probably... It's bigger than a halfling. Smaller than a bread box. I'm just kidding. Um, you could probably fit inside of it if you like really squeeze yourself. But it's, probably. It'd be or a real tight definitely. fit. Definitely. Like, real tight fit. Like I'm Lyra, maybe. Like a little, maybe have a, like have a look a little bit of wiggle room. But anyone bigger than I'm Lyra would probably. Well, a dragonborn to... would definitely not fit in there. Definitely not. Well, that's sad. There goes that plan. Well, there goes my bullet train to the <laughs> next town. <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't the only one thinking that. I was thinking it too. Like, I don't, I don't want to kill him and take his chest, but if I could just be where I need to be. If we could fast travel it. Make it all mm -hmm. smaller. Uh, if anyone oh. know probably more. No, so, so he's, he's standing there. So how many minutes? <laughs> he's standing there. This, this maybe like a minute or two passes, and he can, he's kind of like looking at your guys' faces, and you're all kind of like. Can I looking... pet the pony? Yeah, you can pet the pony. Can I pet it's the a pony? horse, Looking but... suspicious. Can I pet your pony? <laughs> so <laughs> you're all animal handling check. As, as you're all yeah. standing there, he's like, "Don't get any fishy ideas. Don't, you don't want to go in the chest. I warn you, Neil." That's in the it's in the rules. That's in the handbook. Don't don't go in the chest. That is, it's one way. Don't go in the chest. It's not what you think. It's not this portal. It's not some fast way. Strong bad voice. Um, I have sixteen plus one, so seventeen. Okay. Uh, are you helping her with the pony petting or no? I'm petting my own pony. There's one. Pony. There's only one pony. I'm knocking her. Out of my... <laughs> I'm just kidding. She can pet the pony more my help okay she goes to like kind of like pet the pony in like a weird spot you kind of like move her hand <laughs> and then pet it in the right spot um i consider myself a uh, sort of a extra dimensional connoisseur but I this isn't some out. like this isn't some like bag of holding this is like don't i'm what listen I, i'm trying to help you out here don't go in the chest I had a buddy who thought of it one time and doesn't have a hand anymore. Hmm. That's kind of cool, though. So you said it's one way? Well, I mean, that's part of the deal. We give them the money and the, the list, and then they send us the items back. Oh, there it is! And it's like the, the, the chest kind of like thumps. And then he uh, goes to turn back to open it and lifts the chest, and it like clangs on the other side, and inside is. All of the things you guys asked for with like this the javelin almost seems like as the chest opens the javelin kind of like falls out and then he's like leaning on the edge of the chest and he begins to like take him out and like hand them off to you guys out out of Thanks. curiosity and you might um you're of course within your rights and reason to to, to say no can I just look inside? I don't want to crawl inside. I'm curious what it looks like on the on the inside of it. Sure. Kind of gestures towards it as he hands you the last bottle. 
that you asked for. Uh, inside looks like a chest. There are a few very faint runes like carved in on the wood around the, the lip of it. But, you know, red velvet interior. Swanky. <laughs> Interesting. Thank you for, for showing me. Just don't put your hand in it. And he goes to shut the chest. Hands up. Hands away. <laughs> Great. If that's uh, all you need, uh, hopefully we'll meet again. Uh, thank you for doing business. I'll see my end of that deal later. Uh, have a good day, everyone. Okay. You as well, Uther. He begins to get I back get onto his horse, or his uh, seat there, putting his ink and parchment away, and then begins to travel off, heading in the direction that you guys came. Mm. Cool. Awesome. That was fun. Bullet train. Almost. We almost had it, guys. I mean, we could go running towards it. Just jump in the back and just, I'll just try to dive in. You will Your fit. arm will fit. You can't fit. Sorry. You're too big. But it seems like it's only Sorry, a no day, lot. day and a half of walking or a, until we're in the next town. Uh, well, a week to Zaccarlo, but we can be at our nice restful town in just a day if we kind of push it a little bit. How did we go from like three days to a week? I don't understand. Three days to the next town. Three no, to five. No, I mean, I understand that. But I thought it was only like three days to the Carlo. What happened? No. It was three to five days into a town. Oh, okay. I was also under the impression that yeah. it was the Carlo. But that's fine. I spatially have no concept of distance. So. I just don't know where the fuck I am. I show you the map and I point kind of where we are. Yeah, that doesn't to me. And then I point. Never mind. <laughs> That's sad. Just kidding. No. That's fucked. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, I want to show you because if we can't. Look I'm at like, where you were from. <laughs> now you're not there anymore. <laughs> is that that sad? No. To so be like, look, this is where your home is. Oh, wait, just kidding. You can't go there anymore. anymore. You can't go there anymore. <laughs> So I, I was about to, and then I remember and brush it off and put my map away. Rude. <laughs> Rude. So you guys are gonna walk so I can come out? <laughs> nope. Gonna Where hide in the bush. Fuck. Hide in the I'm bush Lira. on the other side of the road. I do walkie-talkie. I'm Lira. You You can come out now. Oh, I guess maybe we should have told that uh, he was a merchant in Walt thing. I heard <laughs> everything. It's fine. Oh, all right. I don't need anything currently. Thanks, though. Okay. Bye. My pleasure. <laughs> We're going to take like, what is this, like Chick -fil -A? a two minute break because I got to pee again. So I apologize. Drink a lot of water today. That's good. If that's okay. Healthy. So back in like two minutes, everyone. We'll allow it. Oh God. Same. Dead. <laughs> Sorry, I thought his mic was off. Why no, it's okay. okay. I mean, now there you sneeze.
And then you will have the world's dirtiest robe because every chance I get, I will just throw mud at you. Or poop. It's the only thing that Ashley can do. She lives Aside in the from woods. physically hard. She might throw poop. That's a better idea. I'll throw poop at you. Why did you make us go live? You shit. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is the best. That was really good. I could see it because I have the Twitch open. I'm like, <laughs> I'm not. I'm gonna go. Welcome back. Thank you for joining us after our pee break. So, after some fantasy Amazon, you guys find your way in the road again. Give me a survival and or perception check to look ahead and make sure you're going the right way. Got it. Oh, it's a natural 20! Plus one, so 21. Wait, it's survival. 23! Wait, no! 24! My survival's plus four! <gasps> I've been doing this plus three. This man is over gasped. It's a 24. <laughs> For survival. Great. You keep going north. Wait, what? <laughs> I said you keep going okay. north. Okay. Yeah, there's a few, few branches here and there, like in the roads, like crossroads, which way to go. And you make sure you guys go the right way. Anybody keeping an eye out for anything on the roads? Um, Lyra's always got our back. I Actual always branches. have eyes. On the behind. On the behind. On the booty. <laughs> have I already gathered enough food for Dins tonight? Yeah, you guys... If, I mean, you guys had, like, a few, like, rations that you guys could restock up on. Um, but having, like, a nice cooked... A gathered and cooked meal is, like, pretty dang refreshing. Especially after the trials you guys have been through for the past couple weeks. Yeah, and I figured, you know, if we didn't have to eat, like stale bread rations and dried meat that's Some better MREs. right save that stuff yeah the hard tack or whatever you know save that junk eat some some squirrel i prefer some fresh meat mm, squirrel yeah see perfect i got the teeth for it bro now like can you like freeze dry food like <sighs> frostbite and like freeze it you know, I actually never have tried that before. So maybe like a good time to start. Maybe if we have leftovers. All right, I can give it the shots, I guess. Okay, it's at this point um, that it, soft rain begins to come down as uh, as twilight approaches. Sparkly vampires. I put on my rain cloak that I went out of rain my way cloak. to purchase. Okay, you are significantly less wet than the others as it's just beginning to lightly come down. Perfect. Brendan for that realism. <laughs> Let's go for the super ludo narrative harmony. Um, Look it up. As I dump a glass of water on Christy. Yeah. Can I? Rune! <laughs> this may be too extreme for the cantrip, but can I do it like, like a, like a, a, just a little, can I make, change the flow and just make like a, an umbrella in a way on me so that the water doesn't hit me? I don't know. I mean, I think you're, it's, first of all, there's like a bajillion, billions, billions molecules in water, so I don't really know how you control that, per se. Yeah. But you, I feel like you'd have to control a body of water, and it's just, you know, rain coming down. Okay. I'm I was That's out. why I wanted to double check, because I'm like, Magic oh. umbrella? I'm also going to go out on a limb here and try some. Sure. I'm going to take out my umbrella. Okay, you take out this worked, crafted piece of equipment that you've been working on throughout the nights the past couple weeks. I'm going to attempt to use it. <laughs> okay, roll me a dexterity check. Oh, I would love to. I'm really good at that. <laughs> That's almost good. <laughs> Is that a one? No, it's a, no, two. it's a two. It was almost 18. Okay, uh, you slide this mechanism up the this pole that you had and it seems to like kind of lock in place but then it, it might or might not be stuck 
Okay. Maelstrom had pulled out this strange contraption that nobody's actually seen before, providing shelter for him and himself. And, and it hmm. seemed something that seemed like a pole. I just give it an appreciative nod. Interesting. I tried to scurry under it. <laughs> uh, it's not like the biggest umbrella. Uh, I mean, it's the biggest one you've ever seen. It's also the smallest one you've ever seen. Uh, barely enough room for two. You can keep your head dry, but your back's getting wet. In this fantasy umbrella. Sorry. I was just hoping that maybe. But there's... Definitely, definitely not. And I just get out of the way after feeling sheepish that I was like, yeah, this will work. No, it didn't. There's not this. Heck. Looks can great, I take, though. Can I take this book I stole from Walter's room out of my bag and just hold it over my head? Sure. Big enough to keep your head dry. You're already oh, slightly well, damp. Head That's dry. Fine. What are our surroundings like? Your surroundings are at this point getting darker and darker as uh, night night is taking into full effect. Um, there are trees along the sides of this road. Like it's kind of like not like a full on like heavy rainforest, but you know it's a forest well enough um, on either side of the road. Looking into it, you can't really see too much past it, but you are within pretty much a forest, like a pathway through the forest leading okay. towards. The next town then i'm just gonna like while trying to stay on the road as much as possible like, try to also be under as many trees as possible okay are you guys going to rest for the evening or continue walking we should probably rest yeah that's probably a good idea yep 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 <laughs> sure why not Maybe when we wake up, the rain will have passed. So what are you guys doing? Who wants to make a survival check? Who oh. wants to make a survival check? Uh, I'll have a look. I can help, though it's not really my forte. You can help. Are you helping? I help. Are you I help Okay, you so. Are you, yeah, are you, are you. No, I'm just helping. Okay. <laughs> okay. So. It, do I roll for event with advantage or. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, the first one's a 12. That one's a I'm 5. Gonna... So we'll take the 12 plus 4 is 16. Okay. You find a big, kind of misshapen like tree that, like. It's kind of like. Maybe it was like. Struck by lightning early on, but then it kept growing and it's just kind of like twisted and turning a different way has like one bigger branch that like there's like a sm slightly drier patch underneath of it but it's not really enough to harbor all of you hmm. well i found this spot but uh i don't know how much better we're going to find around here right now hey uh <clears throat> maelstrom did we ever save the canvas from the uh, runaway cart that we uh, borrowed indefinitely? I know we, we talked about saving that piece of canvas that was the cover, but did we ever actually save it? Uh, out of character, uh, I was under the impression that we did save it. I thought so as well. So, yeah. Yeah. Could could we uh, maybe drape that over this lower branch and make like a large tent or at least lean to shelter for us out of the rain? You can certainly try. I certainly try. Okay. Uh, I will slowly start taking out the individual pieces of the wagon. Okay. I'll help, I'll help try to set it up since uh, I'm a little tall. I mean, I guess this would be yet another survival check with advantage as you guys are trying to piece together these scraps of the caravan you had 
robbed as you left the city of Brago. 18. Oh, shit. Gail Gailric. Hello. Um, we had to break the beams because they wouldn't fit in the bag. Can you use your mending to put them back together like we talked about? I was, uh, I was thinking that. Let's, uh, Cast mend on, mending. mend off. Oh, let's do some, let's see if... Okay, you guys kind of see. fit some of the pieces back together and a few of them splinter off, but you cast mending and, like, it's weird because, like, it's like if, if you cracked it, put it back together and kind of twist it a little bit and, like, some flakes fell off, but then you fixed it. There's still those flakes that fell off, but it's intact. So, I guess my yeah. idea is to take that low tree branch and kind of lean these other things and then drape the uh, canvas over it to try and make, like, a lean-to tent for all of us to stay generally drier under. Okay. Um, the floor is already kind of wet, but you're able... You are able to all... I got a... Go ahead. I got a guy who might be able to finger gun that moisture away, though, so... <laughs> we'll worry about that later. Okay, there, there would be enough room for three of you comfortably and maybe six of you if you all kind of cuddle together. Well, I'm generally already waterproofed, so I can go, like, lean against a tree trunk with my armor off and rest over just over there. So I don't need to be under the, the tent. What do you mean you're waterproof? Oh, didn't you notice my nice waterproof cloak? That no, I that was bought? that was when the ladies were storming the castle. Oh, yeah, I'm very dry right now. How are you feeling? Wet. Wet. Cold. Yeah, so I Cold. I'm okay. Well, elsewhere. I, I mean, I'm wet, but I'm not. Uh. So. I mean, I can stay outside. I don't really have a problem with it. Not like I've done it before. Uh, I will approach Umbrella. <laughs> umbrella what? or Umbrella? Umbrella. See, that's awkward now. <laughs> Is he talking? Actual Umbrella As... or nickname Umbrella? A token of mutual dealing with each other. I have made you this, and I will give her the umbrella. Okay, he extends to you this strange contraption. Did I see him take it out before and like use it? Obviously. Yeah, he right. wasn't exactly hiding it. And there was this probably like noise as he was trying to finagle it. Okay, just making sure. Okay, I was eating my dinner. Um, well, I'll take that little umbrella and I'll say thanks, Master. <laughs> okay. Can he fit under it too? If you got, if you squeeze together, you could. But I are don't. You standing I don't. or? I'm gonna go set up my tent. With wild cunning. Okay. Just making sure. Are you using casting casting wild cunning or ritual? Okay, you can cast it and just around the corner there is a large kind of rock with a cliff face underneath of it that like basically just makes a makeshift like overhang with like spot a spot under it. And you can tell that there was clearly a campfire here before as this, there's still stones set up there. Though it's been long since put out. Okay. Well, I'm going to set my tent up under there and ask the young young buck spirits to uh, get me some firewood while they're out. Okay. You can easily do so. And out of, out of nowhere, a deer begins to follow you, holding in its mouth a long twig attached to like a branch as it's dragging it through the woods, bringing you some, some firewood. I will cast press a digitation on it a couple times to dry it out. Done easily. And then I will put it in the campfire pit 
and light it on fire. <laughs> okay. The deer kind of like stands there. Is he still holding it while it's on fire? No, he kind of put it down, then just kind of stood there underneath the dry. Uh, I will grab a bit of grab my by ration. The Sorry. <laughs> and then I will light him on fire. <laughs> <laughs> put him in the pit. No, I'll throw a bit of ration over to him. He kind of like and, uh, is cautious about it, then kind of leans down and eats it. He stares at you some more. I'm casting prestidigitation on myself and sit in my tent. Okay, you can set up your tent, clean yourself off. Who is anybody doing anything else? What are you guys? What are you guys doing? I guess I did. Maelstrom did. Did I see Maelstrom walk away with like a deer in tow <laughs> or anything? No, he because. Uh, no, because he cast it and then like kind of followed it, and then suddenly a deer came out around him like you guys found this tree that's sitting on top of you know it's kind of hanging down you guys made the thing if you walk but it's, it's almost like elevated almost like on a hill but if you gotta walk down the hill and around that rock is actually where the tree is sitting on top of so he's kind of like below you guys and around the corner unbeknownst to us as far as you're concerned yeah he didn't i don't think he told you guys no, he didn't invite us to his nice dry shelter that's warm with a fire either. Okay. I'm sure that a low perception check would have, you would hear a crackling fire, but <laughs> feet away from me. This is fine. I'm just going to huddle up under it, under this tree, leaning on it with my waterproof cloak, more or less dry. Okay, what would the rain? It would be harder to hear, but you're able to lay next sit next to the tree with your waterproof cloak anybody going underneath this makeshift small overhang thing or anything you guys are having a great time going to bed i'm going to stay outside the tent i don't i'm not going to get cold from the rain the cold bring the chill of the morning so then don't mind if i do the cold never bothered her anyway. Copyright, sure. copyright, term service. Are you a bard? I'm pretty sure you're a bard. I'm pretty sure he is a bard. You're an Eldritch Knight bard, multi class. Um, yeah, I guess I will also get under the little lean to thing. I still have the umbrella. The same. Okay, the three of you kind of squeeze in. Next to each other, underneath the V, this overhang. And it, 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 you guys gonna keep watch? Are you guys gonna go to bed? What are you guys doing? Watch. <laughs> watch. <laughs> okay, uh, Maelstrom and Nala make a perception check as the rest of you try to go to sleep. Before I fully fall asleep, though, because I'm kind of chilly, because... 17. Yes, I was. I, I want to, like... Since sacred flame is useless for pretty much anything else, I want to try and kind of harness its energy to like just make my hands warm. Yeah, you kind of cast it in like a very light, quick manner, and like there's like a ring of fire that you kind of like, yeah, you kind of like grab it and like kind of toast your hands up a bit. <laughs> 17 Great. and Maelstrom, what was that? that was... Well, 17 plus 3. I'm always going to be using tote because I can't see in the dark. Okay. Uh, as far as you're concerned, the night the, the, your watch goes unhindered, Nala, as your tote flies around overhead not seeing anything. Maelstrom? You don't hear anything as the night goes by. Neat. I, I wake up. Air quotation. Up. Okay. At this point, it is... Oh, wait, are you saying you're waking up to... Like, I mean, are... it's, is, is it after eight hours, or are we... Was that well, just... Well, Nala first... would need sleep, so are you keeping watch I down there sleep. alone the whole night, or... I guess. I guess so. <laughs> 
Okay. Um, it's a weird gray area. It, it yeah, is because you don't need tent. to sleep, but the kind of got to pay attention to your I'm surroundings. I'm just yeah. Me and me and me and Hoot World are just just going back and forth, talking, just looking around, checking. Okay. <laughs> With Toad, see their tent. Uh, Toad would eventually, kinda, if he circled around, you could see there's a distinct light coming from around the corner while it's raining heavier and heavier as the night goes on. By the end of your shift, Nala, like the rain is, it's getting heavier. Like it's almost like a storm at this point. Uh, I'm feeling pretty lonely, so I'm going to summon a friend to talk to. We're gonna we're gonna turn this into a tea party. Who are you summoning? That's a good question. I think it's Borold. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh no, it's not. It's not at all. We have a first time, first time appearance today. Oh no. It is a lion. What? What? Great. Oh no. A lion. Wiry. It's <laughs> what wire. Okay, you take out one of your laurels of fur and like kind of throw it on the wow. ground and it forms into the shape of a lion as it stands there looking bewildered but strangely familiar um i'm gonna pick up a stray stick off the ground and okay. i'm going to throw it okay you toss it into the night and the lion goes to chase after it hesitant at first because it's raining but goes to after to chase after the but then i tell it to <laughs> Yeah, you command it <laughs> to fetch. And then it comes back and I'll cast Precious Digitation on it. And then I'll <laughs> okay. throw the stick again. <laughs> okay. Um, now you eventually fall asleep. Is anybody else taking watch upstairs? Upstairs? I'll take over. Okay. Before I go to sleep and... I see Ashlyn and I'm going to show her a picture. I'll send it to you. <laughs> oh. What are you... And Nola. That was drawing, you know, <laughs> on my book. That's probably soaking wet now. It's okay. You can continue. Okay, Maelstrom, are you keeping more watch? Oh, uh, sure. Hoot roll to take second watch. Hoot roll takes second watch. My own, my own camp. I'm just imagining that you went down there, set up a campfire, set up a tent, it and then you're sitting outside of it, keeping watch. For the empty tent. <laughs> Could be wrong. Uh, sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, and Ashlyn, are you taking a watch as well? I am. Yeah. Look at your Just messages, Ashlyn. A perception check when you get a chance. Everything all right? She doesn't have eyes. She's not confused with the picture I sent because she hasn't seen you. On the new sheet, my perception's wrong. It's supposed to be a plus four because it is plus one. It's my fault. Well, not really, but it's a plus four. So eleven plus four is fifteen. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Hoot Roll takes watch. Ashlyn takes watch. Are you guys having interaction, Nala and Ashlyn, or not so much? Yeah, did you, where did you send it? Messenger. It's just a little picture I wanted to show her, because... I don't see anything. Facebook Messenger? Yeah. It's there. Oh, for some reason I had to refresh. <laughs> Sorry. All right. I thought you appreciate it. That's pretty cute. I stir a bit from the boisterous laughter. Sorry, sorry. 
Hey, can you guys be less boisterous? Thanks. Okay, great. More sleep. <laughs> so exciting this sleep time. <laughs> there was just one time that I think we might have had a dream when it was raining. That was That's neat. It up. was not raining. Okay. Um, Ashlyn, during the wee hours of your watch, you peer into the forest. You can swear you feel something peering back at you. Can't see anything. Gives you an uneasy feeling with your danger sense. <laughs> danger sense? But you keep a keep a wide eye out for the rest of your shift, even more alert than you were groggy a second ago. And nothing seems to happen the rest of your watch. However, the rain is still coming heavily down. More so now than it was before. It begins to thunder and lightning very, very frightening. Anyone taking third watch? Corvus and I can take third. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, roll me a perception check. Fifteen. Okay. With a fifteen... Ashton, are you going to warn him about that weird feeling you had or no? Yes. What do you say? <laughs> uh, Hark, I don't know if it's just me being a little paranoid, but uh, I felt like something was watching me out there, little and easy. So just a heads up. I don't know. Something's fucking weird. Point in the direction? Oh, wait. I chuck my axe as hard as I can in that direction. Here we go. Okay, roll an attack with disadvantage. I'm not going to bed now. Uh, five plus seven, twelve to hit. Okay, you hear your axe ding into a tree. I snap it back. Okay. I'm gonna throw it again. Okay. Throw your axe with disadvantage once more. Uh, four plus seven, so eleven. Yeah. This one went a little askew, and it kind of... You could see the... Just very far in the distance as it's really kind of getting harder, harder to see with this rain. Um, you hear it, your axe kind of... Clink, 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 and then a thud. You might hit a rock or something. Just going to snap it back again. Okay. I'll keep my eyes peeled, but I don't think there's anything over there right now. Okay, so hard to... I'll, I'll look. You take watch. this, And at this point, you notice that your the bottom of your pants, and like where you were sitting on your ass, is now like kind of soaked in mud as you just sat there in the rain for eight hours. Or eight, eight or so hours, or six hours? I forget. Six or so hours. Um, and the lightning and thunder begins to like get heavier and heavier as it as the rain begins to carry on heavier through the night into the morning and you could just swear for a split second as the lightning crashed you could see the figure of a white scaled figure far in the distance before blinking nothing is there I send Corvus and that's over. what we're into this nice session no! No! Congratulations, you're still alive. You survived the wilderness. You made we it walked. through. I want to fight him. Fight who? You're asleep. You're asleep. Wake me up. Go <laughs> go. I'm ready to sleep. go. Great. Well, thanks for playing, guys. Thank you. Have some sleepy time, fun times. Look you at you all. Shit? You're also sleepy. Look at you all. Well, he's sleepy, she's sleepy, no. sleepy. Listen, we're old. No, I'm not sleepy. If, the, if if I think you guys are sleepy, I don't know what I am because I'm exhausted. Great. You're so. Big. Well. Great. Thanks. Well, thanks, Nala. <laughs> what? I had fun. Hey, listen. Not That's every awesome. not every day can be a crazy. Drug binge. 
<laughs> no, we're moving. Slash Feywild slash uh, montage. Slash montage. No, we're moving back into your murdering asshole montage. <laughs> well, the deer, no. the deer that was Please. getting me firewood is surely dead. <gasps> That's the problem. You brought a deer around us, and now he found us. Maybe that was oh my, my plan. God. Shit. <laughs> Great. <laughs> mm, I'm so glad that my misfortune is a joke to you all. Nope, just you. It's... You're the joke. Oh. It's also misfortune to us. Yeah. Well, if I had known. Okay. So, <laughs> well, thank you, Insane42, for awesomely yeah. gifting all those thank subscriptions. You, man. Thanks to DM Dorkside for his sub and all the follows we got. Thank you guys for watching. You guys are awesome. Guys. Uh, things might get a little rough from here on out because we're Amanda and I are back in school, but I'm gonna make time to play. I'll do it. Yeah, we'll do our best. You I better. Promise. Yeah. Because I love Listen. this. I love you guys. This is this is a lot of fun. Meow. <laughs> but, but on Aww. that note, for anyone that's still tuning in, um, we may be working together to start a segmented campaign in between downtime with this campaign. So check out our Twitter or keep tuning in to find out more information on that. Yeah. Be a good time. Also yeah. check out uh, Roll Call Roll Call RP. I was on their latest yeah, episode yeah. and they are super cool people. Uh, I think I might be on the next one too. We'll find out depending on how things kind of pan out. But they're awesome people. You should check them out. Yeah, they're really nice. And I think that'll be it. Thanks everyone. Yeah. Yay! Oh, Thank I you! I always love to end a session when one of my players is super sad. Thank you, everyone! Well, <laughs> I'm only sad because I want to keep playing yeah. ever. Yeah, exactly. Good night, everyone. Good night, bye. Good night.